Welcome back to another episode of the Peer to Peer Podcast, man. I'm your host, Agent Zero. Today we got my co-host. Yo, the podcast people listen one and only legend of winning, aka hello. I'm sorry. That that door is gonna just bother me. Who cares? Leave it open. With that door? Yeah. He did it on purpose because he knows that. Like, just leave it open, open, man. It's not a big deal. You know, nobody's here right now. I just I know several people that like their doors open. Yeah, several, <laughs> plenty, <laughs> plenty of people that I used to work with. <laughs> we got producer John in the back. Yeah, John. The goat. <laughs> Thought it was one in a million, but you know. <laughs> he just one of many for, for <laughs> long. One of many. <laughs> and we got a very special guest today, man. Face case on. Welcome to the podcast. Appreciate you having me. Hey, you know what? I like. I feel like you just came on my radar out of random. So like, this podcast can be interesting. We can dive a little bit like deeper into your history Let's and stuff like that, yeah. and then how you got to this point. Like, I think the first time I seen you was on Spotify, and you had a song with Future, and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, a lot of you were really confused. So uh, we could start with that, and then we can go all the way back, and you could tell us how you got started with everything, cool. and now you're into streaming and stuff like that. For sure. uh, but very briefly, for the people who don't know who you are, uh, do you want to introduce yourself? For sure. What's up, guys? I'm Face Kason. Um, a lot of you may know me from music, and a lot of you may know me from GTA. <laughs> <laughs> As Austin Mack. <laughs> Prolific rp <RPer. Yeah. laughs> My biggest op right here. Then Diesel. Biggest, no. One of, no, yes. one of, one one of, of you're up there yes. for sure. Um, <laughs> then Diesel's peak. That's a peak name, man. Then Diesel's really good. I don't it know was a really good character. That's yeah, a good I'm name. sure we'll talk about that yeah. a lot. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good name. We're in too deep. <laughs> you but, know any um, other Ben yeah. Diesel's by chance? <laughs> I know not. I don't know any other Den Diesel's. Do we know other Vin Diesel's? There's yeah. probably some. No. I don't know one Yeah, Vin like Den is another. I know some Vins. Vinny's. Oh, yeah. Vinny's too. And then Vin Baker. Okay. Yeah. See? <laughs> I'm going to do this on podcast. <laughs> We're on podcast. Uh, so, yeah, the, f- the future collab with um, uh, Dirt. Like, how did that How did that happen? Like, how do you get that together? That was, it, dude, it was crazy. Like, um, when that song, it was kind of like how we're going to come out first. And um, I was with Cole Bennett. Cole Bennett helped me put, put together oh, the whole yeah. first song. Yeah. So, yeah. Shout, shout out my man Cole. Um, yeah, Cole helped me put together the whole first song and um obviously, you know, super well connected and you know, used my network to kind of build that that first song out and of course people always want to know how'd you do it, this and that. There's a lot of things behind the scenes that people don't see and know, mm-hmm. especially in the music industry. Crazy industry. Um, but um shout out to Cole, man. Cole really helped me put together that first song and I co produced it with Wonder Girl, who is like one of like the greatest right. producers of all time. Yeah. yeah. Um so she was like my mentor and helped me start this whole this whole journey. So, um, yeah, coming out with Future and Dirk first was just it. I was saying life you never you never really know like you can't even explain sometimes how things happen. It just happens. It, just happens. it really just happens. Like any given moment, anything could have changed in a different direction or a path, but everything happens for a reason. So, yeah, coming out the gate with that was just crazy what was what was people's reaction to that like from your pov and then like how do you build off of that because that's like fucking high standard yeah so a part of me wishes i saved the song Mm. because it was my first record and i really did love that record and i was Mm. like it was it was such a well put together record i kind of wish you know save it for maybe like my fifth sixth you know maybe a little down the line but um I ended up dropping it. The reactions were great. A lot of people were like, it's a really good song. And a lot of people were also very confused. Yeah. Because again, FaZe never had a producer before. Right, yeah, for sure. sure. Everyone sees FaZe case on, they're like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. So um, obviously, like my connection and network was LA. Mm-hmm. I, I, from an internet perspective, who the hell am I? Yeah. So um, yeah, uh, I even <laughs> I remember like I'd go on YouTube because I wasn't on Twitch at the time. I go on YouTube and I see like reactions. The first person I saw was like Silky Live. Like, <laughs> who is this guy? Yeah. <laughs> and I see like he was jacking it and I saw some people like hating. I was like, oh, like who's this guy in phase? Like this white guy in phase, all the <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh man. Um but um yeah. Uh, I saw the reactions, they were great. Um and uh yeah, it was cool. Um but hey. I fuck with Soki now, obviously. Shout out Soki, shout out Soki. He's a good, good fucking guy. Yeah, he is. So, um, so, okay, let's go all the way back, because I know you 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 play at a lot of venues and stuff like that, and yeah. DJ and shit, but now, and now you stream too. Like, how do you even get started in all of this? Like, where did this begin? So, um, I first, I'll, I can really tell you the kind of the journey, like, uh, from college. So, after I graduated college, um, I was kind of in this point where I didn't really, I had a lot of passions, 
and a lot of desires, but I didn't really know what path I was going to take. Mm -hmm. um, I always had a love in music. I would always mess around with producing. And Marshmallow is a really good friend of mine. So um, I was in the studio with him one day. Marshmallow? Yeah, Marshmallow. The Helmet. Helmet? Helmet. Oh. Yeah, it's one of my, one of my closest <laughs> friends. Okay. So I'd be in the studio with him a lot. And there was just one day. That came to mind. It was the first one I was right one. How many other marshmallows do you know? That's what I'm saying. How many God, you know? you good? Don't question me. That's what I'm saying. Don't you question good? me. Don't question me. I'm fine. He knows fine. many other marshmallows. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, how many marshmallows do yeah. you know? Uh, a couple. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nigga. It's like, it's like the John debate all over again. Okay. Go ahead, but, um, Sorry to interrupt you. No, nah, you good. You good. You, Actually, I'm curious. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was in the studio with him one day, and I was just like, <laughs> I was just like, hey man, I love this. Like this is like this is dope. Yeah. And he gave me obviously great advice and told me if you really want to do this and and start this, like you really got to take this seriously. COVID hits, so. Yeah. The second COVID hit, I already messed around with producing. Wait, does he wear his helmet like in the studio? No, no, oh, no. Okay, okay. Never. I don't know he doesn't how really in like character he is. Like, who no, knows? He doesn't really like wearing it. Okay. Um, how can he see? I, I'm just asking questions, in the, man. In the helmet? No, I mean, if he's producing, like, he's just bobbling his like, <laughs> no, head. Obviously, Maybe that's part of his process. I don't know. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Getting into character. I can 100% confirm it is yeah, not part of the process. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's it. We'll move some dials on this side. Yeah. <laughs> Turn this up Look a little bit. Big ass that's no, that's, <laughs> no, no, that, that's crazy. All right. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> you good, you good. Um, anyways, yeah. Um, he gave me great advice. COVID hit. Obviously, you guys know the second quorn was happening. That we, no, we weren't doing anything. Mm -hmm. and you weren't. Y'all, LA, y'all weren't. Atlanta, no, we weren't. Atlanta, it was yeah. fine. It was oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, LA was locked down. Atlanta, Florida. It was. <laughs> it we, was were, we were like in a different world. You couldn't okay. tell. It never couldn't existed tell. here, huh? It, no, it existed for like a day. And then after that, everybody okay. came right back. Well, there was then, one day were. where one Waffle House got it, and we were worried. And then after that day, everyone else it was like, fuck it. Like, we got to work. Have you guys ever got COVID? Did you guys ever get it? Of course. No. You never did? No, I haven't got it. Of course, of course. That's cat. You're just asymptomatic, man. Uh, you, yeah, you probably, probably had it. it. Not good. If you got I'm tested every week, you would have been positive a few times. Uh, John, have uh, you ever been tested for COVID once? I have. How many a times? Lot of niggas had it. How probably, many? How many? Probably had seven or eight tests. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. That's a, that's a good amount. Yeah. yeah. But I got all the boosters and everything like that. Only time I got sick was on my birthday. Damn. Like I said I had uh tuberculosis. What is it? No, uh, tonsillitis. That's not COVID. Tonsillitis is tough, by the yeah, way. That is bad. tough. That yeah, is that's, that's what I thought that's I had tough. COVID. But yeah, that's the shit bad. like in your throat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like your tonsil up. swallow, yeah. Yeah, it was bad. Nah, I, I, I had that when I was like, young, and yeah. I, it was, I was the craziest that's thing. Yeah, yeah, tonsillitis is not yeah, it, bro. Yeah, Everyone's had it here but me? Um, I had it once. Did you have to get your tonsils removed or no? No, I did it. Okay. I still got them. That's good. <laughs> no, but that's. I heard true. that's the worst. I heard taking your tonsils out is the worst thing you can ever do. Yeah, they say because they sound too I'm uh, old now. Most people do it as a kid. There has to be some stuff away. worse than that, but well, the pain, the pain <laughs> of like okay. no, no, no. Well, I think it's a good thing because you probably can never get a sore throat again. Yeah. Head ass? Yeah. yeah we can, <laughs> you can't tell us to move tomorrow. It's not an optional thing, though. But <laughs> you, you thinking, man, I can just get this surgery. It's a terrible procedure. Uh, it terrible. sounds painful. No, no, yeah. terrible okay, from what okay, I've heard. Okay. I can't relate, but yeah. I've heard from I friends. I wouldn't opt for that type of pain. Yeah. I'm but no saying. more sore throats, though. Wait, think I think it is optional, though. I think if you really I mean, want to get your tonsils, yeah, I'll take vitamins and yeah. immune boosters and then have a strong immune system. I don't know. I just like I really hate sore throats. But anyway, besides the point. Yeah, sore throats do suck. Yeah, yeah they do. Do you guys? Do you guys? Would you guys rather have a bad cough or a sore throat? Bad cough. Bad cough. Because really? sore throats drain my energy, so I don't even want to do shit that day. I'm just like a fucking potato. Yeah. But how bad is a cough though? Because I'm thinking the reason why I like sore throats because I can't work at that point. Yeah, it's a step below bronchitis. Oh, oh damn! Whoa, what? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Bronchitis is a bad cough. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. When you say you did a step below, and like, yeah, I'm not talking about like a little. I'm talking like a you like, know, like a good like a party yeah. cough. Hey, yo, 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 my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so you see that? Yeah, you thanks for the demonstration, that, right? brother. Um, hey, the demonstration. Anyways, no, I would rather sidetrack. Right 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 what were you saying? Um, marshmallow. In the studio teaching you COVID hits. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, quarantine. Obviously in LA, that was a big lockdown um, for a while. So I kind of took it as advantage of like really taking this seriously. Then yeah. I tapped in with Wonder Girl and um, Phase. Just also got in the picture um, for the music side, and then um, it kind of just happened. We didn't like you know make the song and put it out. Like I was working on this project for a year and a half, two years before. Oh wow! Before we came out. Yeah, because again, in the music, you can't rush things. Um, so we wanted to properly do it and uh, still independent. Um, and yeah, 
to this point, like how, how much music experience have you had? Did you just start like after that conversation with Marshmallow? Have you tried producing things by yourself in the past? Before that I was, before okay. that I was like doing as funny as it sounds like, you know, we were like messing around with electronic music and like, just like we were all over the place. Or, I mean, I was all over the place. Um, so then, um, yeah, just kind of, it just kind of happened. Like we, I was obviously messing around with it, had, you know, working on FL and stuff. And then, um, Tapped in with Marshmallow, and then after that, it was just kind of like, you know, oh, quarantine. You FL? FL Studio, yeah. That's what I use. But um, something I always want to say, like, I always, I try to, like, make this so known about producers in general is, and Metro said this in, a, in an interview, and my, I've said this in my stream many times. I think there's a really big um, gap with, like, people not understanding the difference of what, what a producer is. There's beat makers, and mm -hmm. there's producers. Mm -hmm. and you're so, a producer. I'm a producer. Okay. Producer can also make beats. No, for but, sure. But um, just like DJ Khaled, right? And mm. even like a, a internet money. Like seeing a song from start to finish is really an art. And it's very difficult. And curating the whole song and the project, who's on it. You know, who you're working with, who you're collaborating with. Um, who's who's writing the melody. the Just the, the direction of the song. Versus a beat maker. There's, there, you can just sit there and make a thousand... Uh, Thousands of beats and yeah. just send them out. Um, so I really want people to understand that there's such a difference, but I think people in the music industry only really understand that. But like people who listen to music only think about like the producers. What it's just the beat. It's just the beat. Mm. There's just so much that goes into it that people don't understand. But um, yeah, music industry is fucking crazy. I was. I think, but I think the reason why people don't <clears throat> understand it is because I think people still have like a very naive perspective of how music is made. Yeah. I think they just believe that a beat is made and then one artist walks in and he writes the entire song. And just and it happens. He perform, yeah, he just, yeah. that's how it happens. <laughs> hey, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes that definitely does yeah, sometimes happen. it happens, yeah. Yeah, but... Um, but as I grow and I realize, like, no, that's not. Like, that's, like, maybe, like... I, I From what I understand, like, a good 50-50. Like, that doesn't, that's not what happens. Like, yeah. there's, like, a good portion of people. Is producer seminar for engineer? No. No, engineer is different. Oh, so what is engineer... What sort of, what's the, what's you, need, you need the engineer to record the song. Okay. Um, so like the engineer, like let's just say you're in a session and there's an engineer. The engineer is like you know, um, using Pro Tools and cut and and cutting people in on the song on the vocals and everything and like meshing it all together. Like you see uh -huh. what Max does with Chris on his streams. Yeah. That's like producing because he'll kind of like coach him on like oh uh, do that part again like this oh. or like say it like that. You're okay. guiding kind of like the creative process. Very valuable though. Engineers really also I feel like are extremely underrated. It's hard to be an engineer. Okay. It's really so who, hard to be an engineer. So who's the one? So the producer one that does like the that moves the song around. Beat makers, engineers, um, and then again, like I said, I, from my perspective of a producer, it's like bringing oh, everything okay, together. Okay, okay. It doesn't even like include bringing in the engine, everything, just everything. Yeah, it's kind of like a TV show. Like when you see someone produced it, mm -hmm. it's like they kind of had their hands all around like the creative exactly. process. Yeah, of like Chris the is a producer. Like Chris is a producer. Like yeah, I've seen Chris been on his yeah. music stuff. Chris oh, is yeah. a producer. Yeah. Facts. Like when he, when he tells you like I yeah, got this beat. beat yeah you come in you say da 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 I made four songs this stream and you're rapping uh, yeah, yeah, yeah they were good too have you heard them yeah, you, heard heard them? Them? you should react to them yeah. on stream my, my stream was like saying react to Chris this react yeah, to Chris yeah, this yeah. react to Chris <laughs> this they called me one take so I just made four I made four songs this past stream oh uh, one take and one take and one take yeah really you, you're freestyling yeah yeah you're it's not hard. punching in or nothing. You're straight freestyle the whole freestyle thing. Freestyle the whole thing. I thought it was live on stream. Like I'll, wow. make it, I'll make it in like that's crazy. 15, 20 minutes. I and really got to hear this. I didn't need to. I just needed to be engineered and like tweaked in this. Like I, I may have to punch in cleaner versions of it, but I just go through it one time. I made some heat actually. Uh, I, I got to hear it. <laughs> it is on point. I ain't gonna hold hey, you. Maybe yeah. I gotta fuck. Like, maybe I gotta fuck with John. Like, once it gets <laughs> cleaned up, like you said, music process <laughs> a long time. Like you can't just rush it. Like some people. Like I can one take it and do that, but for it to be perfect, like adding that creativity and right. like different sound effects and okay, I want this to be slowed. I want to add the beat. I guess I guess the engineer or the producer like reconstruct the beat. Like sometimes they reconstruct the beat to match the artist. So like the beat may go this way, but then okay, I want this to drop again when I come in right here or move this around. Yeah, so anything regarding the beat that. will be like the producer and like okay. any changes like that. And then there's also the mix and mastering. You know, yeah. mixing the song yeah. is really important. You can you you'll know, hear a song and know it's a really bad mix. Like it almost ruins the song sometimes. Yeah, hundred percent. A lot of yeah, times, it's really important. A lot of times. A lot of times. <laughs> a lot of times. Um, it just ruins. So it, yeah. again, there's a lot of there's just so many different. It's like filming a fucking movie. Like yeah. there's just there's just so much shit that goes into it, um, and people don't know in the background. Mm -hmm.
But when you hear it, it's actually going to be very impressive. Especially Chris. It's like a couple things that he does, like, sonically, where I'm like, how did he even know to, like, come in that aggressive and stuff like that? Because yeah. normally, like, somebody had to tell you, like, yo, let's do that. Let's do that. Take again. Come in a bit more harder. But he, like, starts off pretty aggressive. It's actually very, very impressive. I got to hear Chris. I, I really, both of you, you and, you and Chris. I, know, I gotta, go crazy. I got to hear it. It's like, it's actually, like. I was, I was always freestyling, but man, never really made a song before. But now it's, this is kind of easy. Like once you get the melody, I made me, I made a sad song, I made a reggae song. Are you on like trap shit? Like what do you want? I do song? everything. <laughs> everything. I'm talking, I, I, once I saw that uh, Post, Post Malone and Sway Lee went uh, did that seventeen Sun, million that I'm sunflower. Going I'm going straight pop. Oh yeah, yeah. sunflower. Yeah, sunflower. Yeah. I mean seventeen million. Seven, what? Platinum. Oh wow! Yeah, that one, that one, in um the one he did with um what's my man in the Bronx um or maybe Brooklyn, uh-huh. light skinned dude. No, no, light light skin, tall, French Montana, the one with French Montana, Sway Lee. Oh, Guatemala. Oh, yeah, no, no, that's no, 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 unforgettable. No, no, no. Unforgettable. 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 Yeah, that, oh, that's that, a great record. And that oh, oh, amazing. That's a great record. And it has um timeless. I think it's like a billion that's streams or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It cracked yeah. a billion on on Spotify. Timeless music, man. Yeah. The cat rap is it's fun, it's lit, like just freestyling. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make a hit. I'm trying to make something. That- <laughs> John trying to, a t- I just it just dawned on me what John is saying. I'm trying to reach that level of just sounds like, like you got a passion. That, 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 that. <laughs> <laughs> you, love, you love the music. You love. Uh, I mean, I'm just I'm just good at it. It's fun. I'm like, if I can actually do this and put it on, put this on a beat and kind of express myself, you'd be good at it. Yeah, like if you then, if you take it seriously, you'd be good at it. And put it like on like a Taylor Swift type beat, or do like. Pokemon, like, I like that type of music. Yeah, put it on some like that because like rapping, I can do the hard rap and whatnot. People want to see it sounds cool, but that's not for the masses. You gotta get something that's. Hey, what separates cool. you from everyone else? Mm. You say? I said I told my chat I'm trying to go international. Yeah, uh, hey. yeah. <laughs> um, actually, the one thing I, I, I when I was listening to your music, I don't. I'm so blown away. And maybe just because we live in a different era now, but like you're from LA, but yeah. your sound is not. It's not, I don't want to like stereotype, like not like, it's not like a Kendrick sound type shit. Right. But how, where is this, so where exactly does your sound come from? Where are you influenced by, like when you're creating and just like the ear that you have? So the thing with me and, and music and even John came to my last show in Atlanta, it's like. That shit was lit. It was fun. It was crazy. But my point I'm trying to make is um, I'm all over the place when it comes to music. Yeah. So like I'll tap into any, like I have so many different influences and so many different like types of music that like I'm just all over the place like I'll go fuck around and do a New York drill song and then I'll go fuck around and and like you know see like oh what Ken Carson's doing and over there and Destroy yeah. Lonely then I'll go fuck around and do you know with the Nardo shit like I'm trying I my influence is really like I appreciate music and all the different like worlds within music mm-hmm. and um there's just so many things to tap into and um there's really no specific sound I've really been on my like trap shit yeah. but um as time goes on, I'm definitely like even what he said. Like I want to be way more versatile and international. And um, but right now, I'm just kind of sh- trying to show like you know like you know fucking with the culture and like you know like trying to really like you mm. know get some respect. So um, what even even um like like only Bino? Fuck with only it's my man. Yeah. See this nigga said it was mid. You mid. Right. Nah, what did I say? Only yeah, Bino talented. Only Bino talented. I was, I was playing Ooh. only Bino when I got in That's here. My bro. And you were like, oh, I don't know. Oh, he's that. mid. Is he from Atlanta? Or only Bino, like, where is he I don't from? Know. I don't know who he's from. I think my friend but, just a, 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 a track with him. He, my friend's from Atlanta, he's like an underground rapper, like King Carson. Like, yeah, 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 King Carson. Also hard. King Carson's yeah, underground. Same, same kind of music. That's probably uh, okay. I want to say, he's out of here. He's yeah, out yeah, out yeah. Here. He's yeah. still like, he King, know what it is. King though? Carson's not, I don't want to say he he's not underground. underground, but he's still being recognized. I call it, I call it underground music, but he's past the underground. But when I think about it, underground Atlanta music, he sells tickets. That's all I know. You know, he goes crazy. He goes crazy. I was in the sentimental, and he was like, "Man, that's me." And I was like, "Who?" Sentimental. The song with um uh-huh. Chris and Young Chris and um. Oh, I like Young Chris. Chris. Only I like Chris. Young Chris. Young Chris is dope. I like him. I like DC the Don too. He's hard. Yeah, he's hard. But it's like, like what you were saying is a very good point when you listen to a wide variety of music. Like some people that listen to one genre specifically, but different artists in that same genre. You kind of capping yourself a little bit. Exactly. Like, I, like honestly, I think people got to open their ear. I mean, again, there's so much. Bless you. There's so Thanks, much man. like um, there's so much like hate on. I think like almost like ye kind of in in a certain world, right? Mm-hmm. Where it's like, I feel uh, like that's how it starts, though. No, like when Young Thug first started, I saw so much hate. 
Yeah, yeah. About, oh, some yeah. people don't know what they're that saying. That is true, guys. actually. Yeah, that's facts. Yeah, mm-hmm. even, even like, when Lil Wayne first started, that's a lot of hate, man. They yeah. say he didn't use his words yeah. for Google and his stuff. No, no. When Wayne was transitioning his sound, is when I heard a lot of hate. Because yeah. Young Wayne, I mean, not Young Wayne. Lil Wayne started with um very southern style rap, and then as soon as he got to like Carter Three, and he was being way more experimental. <laughs> They were like, why is why is this all auto tune and it sounded like he crying and you know all that. That's when it happened. <laughs> yeah. But when he was on like Hot Boys and all other stuff, like no, nah, he was like very Rare very much music. so. Yeah. Sometimes like what you're trying is oh like, my God. Yeah. man, amazing. Yeah. What's what's the process of like trying to get people's respect in the music industry? Because I imagine it's different for every industry. So like you're well, coming onto the scene and I'm sure you surprised a lot of people. Like, oh, who's this guy? Yeah. So a lot of people are looking at you like, damn, like. Is this the type of guy we want to give opportunities to? So do you mean respect within the music field or respect within the audience? Uh, the music field. Music field. Um, you know, how kind of like the respect kind of happens is also who's fucking with you. Mm-hmm. From like, you know, it's like, for example, my first song, I had Wanda Girl and Lou Bell work with me. And like automatically, like the Lou Bell stamp is like, okay, Lou Bell's fucking with him. Like, I got to fuck with him. Because mm-hmm. Lou Bell is the most placements in history of music mm-hmm. as a producer. He wrote, even so, you said Sunflower. He wrote that. He wrote Sunflower? Damn. He wrote the melody. He wrote the melody for Sunflower. Wow. I think him and Billy Walsh. Um, That's so clutch. But crazy, right? So, like, there's people, like, in, again, Lou Bell has almost wrote so much for Post Malone and Bieber and all these big artists. So, like, from a music perspective, when, let's just say another producer or another label had another someone seen like, oh, these people are messing with this person. Mm-hmm. We want, we need to tap in. So, um, you know, there's that. There's also like, you know, just the quality of your work. There's so many things that also can go into like getting respect. But again, I've only dropped two songs. You know, a lot of people don't realize I'm new. I'm very, very new. Yeah. Um, so um, I got one coming out in two weeks. But um, mm-hmm. is, that the, is that what you're shooting today? Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's been like seven different videos. It's it, with the... Blood, sweat, and tears through this song is oh my god, it's been crazy. We played that one on the um, <laughs> on the set. Yeah, that was crazy. Cause oh, I you think, played it? Um, yeah, yeah, no people people know what it is already. People oh, okay. know. You told me told me that it got leaked that day or something. Yeah, it got leaked. The Herbo's verse got leaked yeah. on TikTok and it got like five hundred thousand views and like just a verse and like so many likes. It. Crazy. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's dope. And it's like the artist got Babyface. Yeah, baby Nardo, yeah, Nardo Wick, Nardo G Wick. Herbo, Big Thirty, Babyface Ray. That's God cra- damn. Crazy yeah, I'm about to say, what the hell? That's a crazy. It's like a Thanksgiving plate. Like, <laughs> it's, it's all messed together. Yeah. So again, like that's three artists who like were on the yeah. XXL freshman list. You know what I mean? So like in my brain, you know what I'm saying? Like I already fuck with Nardo's music. I fuck with Thirty. I fuck with Ray. And then like adding Herbo, who's like a legend in this. Like yeah. it just all complemented itself. So, but yo, that mm-hmm. song. If I explain the process of that song and like what I went through, like lot. you have no idea because first I had the song done about eight months, no, even maybe even a year ago. Mm-hmm. And Kanye came in and Kanye took what? Yeah, so what do you mean he came in? So I'll explain. <laughs> so, so hold on. It, it wasn't like a personal thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. as a producer, yeah. That boy, that boy lost the calorie. Yeah, yeah. That boy moved too fast. Yeah, like, um, Nah, yay. Um, so as a producer, um, we obviously, they, you know, there's loop makers. So I took a loop from, from someone, right, and used the loop. I was getting it cleared and all that. And yay comes in. I like that loop. My song's done. But, like, you know, he went to the loop makers. Like, I want that loop. So then uh, he ended up using that loop for Donda too. So here I am, already the song done. What? Mix and mastered. No, there's no way. Yeah, mix and mastered everything. I have to reconstruct a whole Whole new song. Nardo what do you mean he took that? Kanye kind of just decided he wanted that loop, and so then he took it. Well, think of it this way: from the from the perspective of a loop maker, mm-hmm. you want to give your loop to and the, oh, to Kason or Kanye. Kanye. So like, obviously, oh. I'm not That's saying they're like. Crazy. You know, can you what say what, can you say what loop it is? No, it, well, even it doesn't matter. It was just it was. Uh, oh, I kind of matters. No, no, it doesn't. It was just a. It was. Oh, you're saying which song it was? Yeah, what song it was? Yeah. I think it was a Travis Scott song on Donda Two. Oh, oh, it was Travis He's and. Not, yeah. But the song never hit. Streaming platforms, oh, so yeah, it was okay. kind of tricky. Uh, what? Well, Donna Two never came yeah, out on just, anything except the stem player. Yeah, I just hear it from fucking Davis. That's the only person I know who like, plays Davis, it. Davis, Davis got it. It's like, yeah. it's, like it, he has a custom Kanye test. Oh, like Donna Two. I was using that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never came job, out. Yeah. Yeah. play no other music than Kanye. Not I just Kanye. Like, you, you make a request, he would laugh, and he'll say, "Okay, I got you." And he'll play yeah. Kanye, Kanye featuring someone else, maybe. Or if you play any other artist, he'll turn it low. But then when Kanye come on, he'll blast it <laughs> with, a, with a road trip with him. Really? The other songs, it was like he only playing. He only playing. But then Kanye come on, he'll blast it, roll the windows down, 
and he'll start yelling. So, um, so you, you're in the process of reconstructing this entire song. Um, do you like how it came out? Like, there was a good four or five months where I was not happy with the song because we were in. The, you know when like so when you listen to a song so many times, your ear gets so used to yes, that song. Yes, yes. Then the second you start hearing hearing something else, it's off. No matter what, how dope it is, it's off. It's mm -hmm. off. So I had to keep working at it, keep going through different loops. We had to reproduce the whole thing. New mix of, like, it was starting a whole new song. Nardo then didn't like his, how it sounded because he cut cut to like the original beat. Mm -hmm. um, so then it was just a whole process. It's like, re, it's like redoing the whole song again when it was already done. So um, yeah, that song. And But like, you know, we've taken a lot of time with the video. We have like six different cutscenes. <laughs> Damn near fashion show for me. I have like six different outfits, like <laughs> going through each scene. <clears throat> but I'm super excited. The song's finally coming out. When's it dropping? Can you say? Uh, December second. Damn. Yeah. As of right now, yeah, labels, yeah, yeah, yeah. labels be moving crazy. <laughs> yeah. But December second, as of right now, so I'm super excited. Um, got some dope cameos. Uh, KC3 in it. Damn. Phantom, yeah. Okay. Bruce That's Rage. Right. Yeah. We all got you know different. Uh, they all got different parts in the in the video, so it's That's super tough. sick. Yeah, That's it's gonna tough. be fun. I'm happy for you, gang. That's lit. Appreciate you. That's song Thank hard you. too. Shout out to the guys though. Especially the um, song before that one with Shaq, Shaq West. Yeah, the Shaq one. You fuck with that one? Yeah. So what's what's your aspirations like music wise? I always said when I started this, I want to be the biggest DJ in the world. You know, as crazy as that sounds, as far fetched, you know, whatever it is. Um, I love festivals and I love to DJ. Like I love to DJ. Um, so. That was most of the reason why I got into this because mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to just be any person to go DJ and play other people's music. Um, you know, the biggest DJs in the world all have their own music. So um, I had to take producing really seriously too. Mm -hmm. So um, that's my, you know, my biggest aspiration is to be a world touring DJ. So where does that passion from DJing come from? Because I mean, yeah, where, where does it come from? I see like a lot of people try and dive into it, like even on a casual tip. Uh, like what makes a good DJ? How do you grow in the DJ business? Is yeah. it about connections? Is it about like how many people you can get in the door? It's a lot of things. Uh, well, first, um, you know, the DJ aspiration kind of came from me being at festivals, me just sitting there being a person in the crowd, mosh pitting, having a good time, like mm -hmm. watching like, you know, just someone DJing. Like I, w I was always so like, dude, this is so sick. Like there's this man on stage playing to like 40,000 people. Like, are you shitting me? Like yeah. it's crazy. So I always had that, you know, that love for it. And obviously it was at a time, you know, I'm, I am 27, about to be 28. Damn. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I hear from my stream every day. <laughs> you know, it's all I'm an old guy. I guess yeah, I'm 27. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, Duke. Yeah. I'm, the, <laughs> I'm the new guy in town. Well, he's yeah. 28, so you're good for well, today. I'm 28 in like a month. <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah. It's over for me. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah you're not down. So, let's, let's chill out, guys. Let's chill it's out. It's tough. Man. It's tough. So I've accepted it. Um, but, um, you know, it was at the time when wait, like. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. How old are you? Yeah, how old are, what are you? you telling me? I'm younger than y'all. But like, yeah, I'm younger than y'all. Just say the age. Probably like a decent amount too. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah. How, old, how old are you? Hell yeah, John. How old are you? Hey, don't come to me. No, 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 no. <laughs> how old are you? Why do I feel like he's like 26? Yeah, you are 26. No, I don't. I don't remember. I had check my. You know, I, I John, just. Can you go on Google, please? Yeah. No, you're born. Yeah, no, I know. Google I, just no, 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 no. guesses really. I know. Yeah, you're born in '96. You're 26 years old. What are you talking you're about? You're 96. Stop. You're 90. Yeah, I'm 94, but I'm, I was born two weeks after. I'm 95. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Nigga, 96 is crazy. Wait, too. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you're 26. Yeah. The avid gamer was born on. The average 23rd April 1996 in Canada. You're kind of old. I don't know how true that is, though. <clears throat> where, that's actually 100. Where? That's actually 100. It's on www.legit.com.org. <laughs> Wait, where in Canada? I don't know. You're, you're, you were born in Canada? Yeah, from Toronto. That's sick. Yeah, I know. I man. did not know you that. You ever been to Toronto? I've been to Toronto once. So I was a lot younger. I've been meaning to go. Yeah, it'd be nice, man. You should go. Toronto is sick. Wonder goes from Toronto. You should perform well, in Toronto. Yeah, that's that. What I've been? A DJ started. It get lit out there. I've heard Toronto is like the craziest place. Yeah, it's pretty nice, man. I'm I gotta go out I gotta there. Go back when it's I wouldn't know to be honest. I'm, I'm gonna say outside. you don't go outside. I'll be going outside, bro. I've been to like one or two places outside, bro. To be, be honest with you. Yeah, Toronto's not really like an outside place though. I it might be. No, but when I talk to people from Toronto, they don't ever go like. Oh, the club scene in Toronto. You talk to a lead, though. Yeah, people say they're outside in Toronto. Crazy. Yeah, this is like the best. Yeah, like, like, but they be complaining there. about outside, though. That's oh. what I hear primarily. Oh. Like, yo, bro, like, there's no good lounges in On clubs. the stories, I see it look lit. Like, the girls. Yeah, be I saw all my like, friends in Toronto. They said Toronto's crazy. The club scene's popping. Oh, like, wow. They might yeah. be right then. 
You know you're not going to go though, regardless. I'm not going regardless. <laughs> yeah, okay. You don't really go out, huh? Yeah, bro. I don't, like the last two times I went out was because you were doing something. You were in LA, I remember. Yeah, I don't even go DJing. out. Yeah, and the one before night. was in Vegas. I sort of got to go. Where'd you go to Vegas? <laughs> no, when we were too. doing the um, when we were playing a football match. Were you guys at my? Were you guys at my? Yeah, yeah I, we pulled up with um, fuck. I don't remember all who went, but um, that was my first time seeing you perform. I'm honored that the two times you, you yeah, been that's out the only time I went out. I love with that. I love with Yeah. So okay, so now you're into DJing. DJing fucking looks like fun. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait, can I ask a question real quick? Oh, okay, yeah. you keep you keep bringing up Wonder Girl. How did you link up with her? Because you keep you keep you know yeah, yeah. Out, just yeah. like uh, network. Just like, you know, friend of a friend, you know, type so shit. So is that how it works? Because, like, I always wonder, like, how people kind of scale every, like, keep going up. The biggest advice I can give anyone in this world is this world runs on networking and network. Just, you know what I mean? Like, be genuine, be cool, and, like, just know your connections and relationships is what, you know, Damn. is what really, like, takes you to another place. Yeah. It really is. You know, outside of, you know, you want to go to college, you know, you're well-connected or this and that. What got me this far was really my connections and network. Damn. Because I have um, a degree at USC. For me personally. I'm saying like that's not what got you that far because You went to school for a doctor, right? You be a doctor? Uh no no no, not to be a doctor. What did you go to school for? Um I wanted to be a sports journalist. So I I went oh. into yeah, I was obsessed with sports. By the way, you're right, it's not what got me there, but yeah. it's what helped me get to a certain different place. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, you're right. Thank you for it. correcting me. Um no I, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um just it helped me get to a a, a different level of, you know, really okay. wanting to like accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. But again, Organically, authentically, not forced. No, no, for happen, sure, yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's another, you can't force it. You can't just, like, you know, like, do something and then, like, kind of, like, ungenuinely do it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, or ingenuinely. I say ungenuinely, ingenuinely do it. Um, so. Because then I would assume, like, when it's time for them to kind of pass yeah, the word, they, they're not going to really. all yeah. that. People see yeah. through all of that, man. Fair, yeah, that um, is true. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. But, um, wait, what did you ask me before? Uh, I just got sidetracked. How, how you met Wonder Girl? That's what um, he has. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, so that's kind of just how it, how it happened. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, anyway, back to DJing. <clears throat> like, um, your goal, I imagine, is just playing, like, the biggest festivals, have, like, your own, like, flurry of music that you can play as well. Yeah. And shit like that. What does that process look like? What's that climb look like? Do you play in smaller venues first? Do you build up a reputation? Uh, is it, like, a my career? <laughs> my career. Oh, yeah. My career is a good... It really kind of looks like a my career. Um, I think... Right now, for me, it's like opening for bigger artists. Okay, um, that's kind of like I'm not a place to have my own shows, and even if it is, it's super small. Um, so um, I would say right now, the my career is open up for like even like that show. Like I open up for Ken. Mm-hmm. So like just like doing stuff like that um, is really like you know what get your name out there a little more because those are already kind of built in audiences. Right? Was that the last time you came? Like a week ago? Is that yeah, that was did? a week ago. Okay. The, uh, Phase Affinity event. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That was that was dope. Um, so again, like imagine like a lot of people are probably in that crowd. Um, some are obviously there for me, but then imagine a lot of them don't know who I am. Mm-hmm. So automatically they're like, "Wait, this he tapping into this? Like he knows this? I I might fuck with him." Mm-hmm. So then like that's just kind of how I've already had people on my Twitch chat like be like, "Yo, your show is lit! Like I just that's met dope. you." So it's just like a slow process of like you know just being out there more, doing more with other artists, mm-hmm. and being diverse being helps discovered, a lot for sure. Like the way he was doing the playlist, and that's a good thing about being a DJ. You got to be able to like. Understand the crowd and like read the crowd's energy and knowing what the now you do play unique shit though. I like that because, um, Mm -hmm. yeah, you'll go from like a old like graduation Kanye song to like Chief Keef, yeah, all over the place. It's it's a good medley of like you're not listening to the same fucking thing over and over and over again. You gotta read, and all my DJ sets are super open format, so like, um, even the one in Boston, like it it was that crowd, but I kind of was doing like the set, like right, similar set to like Mm -hmm. you know. Kind of more commercial, like people want to sing along. But I was like, wait, these these dudes don't want. They want the underground shit. Mm-hmm. They want like the shit that like you like. Wait, he tapped into that. So like, then it's like yeah. I completely switch up my set. Mm-hmm. Um, so and again, mixing is super important. A lot of DJs just like will echo out and play the next song. Anyone can fucking do that. Yeah, you know what makes you what makes you a good DJ is being able to mix certain songs and and again read the room. Got to read the room. I was about to say that's what I was gonna ask. Like, so how do you how do you do? Because if you're saying you on the fly with it sometimes. <laughs> Do you have like certain mixes already like known in your head? Like I can get to this. Are you on a free you freestyle mixes? Well, pra- just like anything you do, I be I be I have a DJ, DJ set at home, so I be practicing a lot. You know, like oh. different mixes and stuff. So mm-hmm. I have my own decks at home, and I've obviously different playlists I've already made, and I, and yeah. we all have different cues. So like when we add songs to our USB, um, I have cue points that like I only I know that I have on the song. 
So, oh, okay. um, yeah, I just be practicing a lot and, and so you can improv basically. So like a DJ, so you when you say you have a set, that's basically you come with a list of songs already prepared, and then if something does change, you say okay, they're liking this style of music. You switch that in. Now you got to remember, okay, if I do mix, I got to cut it right here to blend it with this song. Yes, yeah. off of your experience exactly, practice. and that's why we have the headphones oh. too to cue a song just to hear what's coming next. So that's what the headphones are for. So it's more than just playing music. Is actually you got to know what you're doing. It's not just yeah. curate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> think of it this way: if you keep echoing out, people are just gonna then like, okay, next song. Like, yeah. You want people to keep dancing. You want people to keep keep going crazy, right? Mm-hmm. Like again, the show like it's like a consistent energy. You want to keep the same energy throughout the whole show because then. You know, it's like the ox. Like then everyone's I used like, to okay. hate them niggas at high school parties. The niggas that'll pay like one twerker song. Now the niggas has got the courage to get to get behind the booty. Then they change the song. Yeah, like, you didn't read the crowd. Like, no, nah, you got to read the room. Niggas left the, 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 niggas left the wall. The now niggas mad and like boo. You got to read the room. You got to read the room. Like the booty was just starting to shake. <laughs> niggas just got the balls to get off the wall. Yeah. Now you want to put uh, Trey songs on. But the fast version. What is song. what is like your dream artist to like open up for on on a tour? It's a really good question. Dream artist to open up with on tour. I have to think about that. I mean, obviously, like you know Drake, but um, outside of crazy. that, like like outside of that, I would say what like fits the vibe. You know, again, there's some the versatility is just so. You know what? I'm gonna say Cardi. I'm gonna say Playboy Cardi okay. just because. Okay. And I'm, and I'm thinking like Cardi B. I don't know. It could have been either. I was. It was a toss up. That's, that's crazy in energy though. That's yeah. why because yeah. the energy. Yeah. That marsh is different. Like, I saw. I saw a white. <laughs> like, I, I, I thought. It was, I thought it was about to be a real brawl going on. Like they went from shoulder bumping to shoulder bumping. I guess one person showed him a little too hard to a slam, and then he got up and dapped him up, and they did this little head. Yeah. Started, <laughs> Get okay. it crazy. Up slam. You know, like, slam me. I'm dapping you up. Mosh pit. <laughs> Hosh pit, dosh pit, nigga. Yo, low. they're crazy. Yeah, yeah that would be guys. that would be fucking it. I'd say yeah. Cardi Uzi, like you know, the, like like that really would be yeah, would be dope. And you'd be Cardi playing into the energy too. You just like hell yeah, keep oh, scaling dude, I'm, it higher. I'm super higher. tapped in, yeah, no, for sure. I know <laughs> no, exactly what they want to hear. And I know exactly what they they just want. Those guys just want to mosh. They just want to go crazy. That's what I tell them. My stream, I, I put on my on my song. I just made a song, I made a mosh song. And I did like the ad list. I was like, open that bitch up. Oh, on your song. Yeah, I was like, open it. Cause I saw I saw Ken do it. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is what it's like. This, I haven't been in a concert for a while. Like, yeah. I didn't never went to a concert. Yeah. I, I don't listen to the music, but I never seen it live. Yeah. This is my first time seeing like Ken or Yachty perform live instead of like seeing clips from Rolling Loud or something like that. So he went up there, he was like, open that bitch up. Open that bitch up. They spread it. Nah, nah, DJ, cut, cut, cut. Yeah. The music get quiet. I ain't playing this shit till y'all open that bitch up now. They open that bitch up and then niggas just start going crazy. They just start jumping. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I see <laughs> crowd control. Crowd control is super important as a DJ. Um, they, if they won't, sometimes they won't listen. If they don't fuck with you, they won't listen. Yeah. Because the DJ will be like, "Open that shit up," and they just standing yeah. right there. They like, fuck that. <laughs> so like having crowd, it'd, it'd having like crowd control on a Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, crowd control is super important as a DJ. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. I'm a little curious why you decide to end up streaming because like going from producing and DJing to streaming, but then now you stream like heavy too, like heavy. basically every fucking every day. day. Yeah. So what, what convinced you to do that? Are you trying to like, is it just another passion of yours? So I love to entertain. I always have. And I'm a very talkative person. Mm-hmm. Um, on top of that, like there was so many reasons why I got into streaming. Um, there was a lot of times where I remember they were, See, the difference is, is my team was always asking me to do it, Mm -hmm. but I wouldn't do it because they wanted me to do it. Because then it just felt like I'm just (laughs) doing it because I have to do it. Yeah. So, like, finally one day I was just like, you know what? Like, I feel like I got, like, I would watch a lot of my friends obviously stream. I'm like, you know what? I I play GTA offline, like, all the time. Yeah. Like, I was an offline gamer, like, heavy offline gamer. So, I was like, why not just turn on my camera and see what happens? Um, And I love to entertain. I got into streaming to the point where... I became obsessed with it. And now I'm very much obsessed with streaming. I love it. I love to entertain. I love to talk to my chat, my community. Love to play GTA. Um, and yeah, it just kind of, it just kind of happened. And 
I, I love to do it, man. Like it's so much fun. It is a lot of fun. There's something yeah. nice about getting a like a res, like getting feedback immediately. Yeah, like you'll do something and then immediately it has flooded with and like the impact. The impact of uh, that a streamer has yo like, is crazy, it's crazy. Yeah. compared People to like any other crazy. platform. It's unreal. It's insane. It's, it's a, it's, it's, it really is different. It's, it's the future. It really is. Um, so um, I don't know if it's a future because I don't think too many people can handle it. I think they can. I don't yes. know. No, I, I don't. So I, many, think, I think it takes a very unique person to be able to entertain on stream. Oh, for sure. That's for what, sure. I don't. I don't think. I don't. I think the bar of entry is much higher than it is for like TikTok, obviously, and like IG, and I would even go as far as some even some YouTube creators as well. Yeah, but right. that's a, I think that's, it's, that's a low bar though. Like anyway, niggas post a TikTok or just them standing there if they look pretty, million views. Like, that's what do you not think a bar harder, of entry. What do you think is harder to entertain, YouTube or Twitch? I think YouTube is harder. I think Twitch is more taxing. I think YouTube is harder because you gotta, you gotta. It's way more that you have to be competent on to succeed on YouTube. But on Twitch, you're like no, really not successful. Just being entertaining. <clears throat> yeah, not not successful. When people I are agree watching you. You're entertaining them. Like XQC can sit there and watch ten Master Chefs in a row, and that's highly entertaining to the people that watch them. Yeah, they so just like, they'll watch him do anything. Yeah, that's not any less entertaining than Doctor Disrespect putting on a whole production while he plays like Warzone with Tim the Tatman. You know, it's just different types of entertainment. But like, yeah, it's been incredible to see like even your streaming journey. Um, I yeah, I first bumped into you when we were playing in District Ten, and I didn't even know it was you at first. Uh, and my chat was mad at me. I so this is what happened. We were, it was we were doing school RP, <clears throat> and um, I'm a lawyer in RP. Yeah, Dan. And you're a fucking crooked criminal. Yes. So <laughs> very much. <laughs> I remember you, guy. you you pressed me one time in the school and asked me to do some drugs with you. The K two. As as the lawyer that I am, I'm like, nah, I can't. I don't even I didn't even trust you. I heard your name around the sea. I'm like, Austin Mac, I don't trust that nigga at all, bro. I'm gonna stay away from him. <laughs> I'm gonna stay away. I don't want no business with Austin Mac. So I fucking ducked you your like um invites to do some K2 in the bathroom uh, multiple times. And I forgot what I did to get under your nerves, but yeah, we ended up you just did having something. I, yeah. I didn't, I didn't fuck with you. Yeah. I, before I, you adopted my kid. Yeah. yeah, before yeah, that, yeah we yeah. had some shit. Yeah, yeah. So then, so then we were already kind of like, didn't like each other, but we would see each other around the city and shit like that. And then I ended up adopting one of your children took baby Mac from me. Yeah, and then we we had a whole bunch of <laughs> drama. Yeah, so he yeah. had a couple of kids. Well, my kids were talking shit. They, they wanted to dip because I was a terrible father. <laughs> oh my god, so I was a Where bad father. Was I was they, a deadbeat father. They were like one of them was like five, other one no like one, of them was like, one was like thirteen, yeah. and one was five. Little Mac and baby Mac. So yeah, I ended up adopting the youngest one, baby and then Mac. yeah, we got in drama with him because we had to legally do the adoption. And it was uh, funny though. Yeah, I didn't. Like, oh I didn't ask God. him for permission. We just already we negotiated with the child in the courts. Negotiating with the child. The record's kind of fucked up, but like, I, I kind of sold my kids. So like your 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 yeah, wife she or paid for it. She paid for the kids. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you bought them. Hell yeah, I made like seven hundred fifty k. Yeah, no, you hit. A, you ran up a lick. hundred percent. Yeah, I was like, yo, fuck them kids. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then um, uh, yeah, that was around the time I stopped playing. I'm gonna get back into it, but I remember we had a beef outside the hospital when you like confronted me that about the adoption. Funny. Yeah, we were like, and you fucking other. smoked me, yeah, and I was yeah. like, bro, I'm gonna take him for everything he fucking has. Yeah, I kind of want to a court case and shit. We gotta continue. I that. know. Yeah, oh my god, funny. that would have been such a tough arc. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, GTA is great content, bro. It's easy. It's also so easy. It's I so know. Natural. It feels natural. Exactly. It feels natural. Yeah. It just again. Shout out to Phantom District Ten. Um, they did a great job with the server. One hundred percent. It's it's sick. And you're on the. Are you on the whitelist now, or are you still? Yeah, public? I'm there now. Yeah, it's I'm about to hop on the whitelist. More built up storylines. Are you still? Are you still Austin Mac on there? Uh, I have two characters. I have Kason Shah, who's like the Prince of Persia, and then I have Austin Mack, who's a cop. Okay, I'm going to have to come up with a new character. <clears throat> it's sick, though. But again, I'm also trying to do more. I I've been trying to like slowly like you know, expand with content, too. This portion of the podcast is brought to you by Dave. Now, some of my podcast people out there, please don't get offended when I ask you this question, but how many of you are having a little bit of financial trouble? See, back in the day, I know for a fact I was struggling with them Walmart checks. Boy, I was... This is kind of rough for you, boy. Gas money was was pulling me one way. The bills was pulling me next. Had dates I had to go to, all that stuff. And it was tough. Especially during the holiday season, everybody wanted a gift. And they didn't know that your pockets was on E and you didn't want to say nothing. See, back in the day, I didn't have nobody in my corner. But these days, you do with Dave. Dave is a banking app that could help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. And to make it even better with Dave, there is no interest, late fees, or credit checks. So you don't have to really worry about if you apply or not. 
So for all my real ones out there who are struggling paycheck to paycheck like I was back in the day, I feel you, man. But make sure you take advantage of this opportunity because Dave is trying to help you put a little extra money in your pocket, especially around the holidays. You got to buy some gifts, got to make something shake. So go ahead and sign up with Dave now. So if any of this sounds interesting, make sure you download Dave today at dave.com slash peer to peer. That's dave.com slash peer to peer. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. For terms and condition, go to dave.com slash legal instant transfer fees apply banking provided by evolve member fdic and again huge thank you today for sponsoring this portion of the podcast yo bro there's so much cool things you could do with music that i see other people try yeah uh, like i don't know if you've seen kenny beats on twitch i haven't but he just makes beats on what no kenny even well, Kenny I, a legend kenny yeah, he's, a legend. but not only he's, is that he's hilarious too. yeah yeah, yeah. It's funny. he did i don't know he does every time something different but he'll just bring someone in the studio with him and like he'll make a b and someone will do the vocals like he just streams kind of like his creative process i don't yeah. know if you've seen tory lanes before on uh, I, I haven't i haven't seen him and tory, tory lanes, lanes does the same thing yeah he's on twitch too t, t pain does it as well i saw t pain t pain is hilarious t pain is hilarious so i mean I think, yeah, I guess it depends on how you do your creative process, but like they find a way to include chat into their creative process and it's really like illuminating. It's and cool they're super interactive. 100%. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a really cool experience. But even outside of that, like, um, yeah, I think diversifying is just good anyway. Just to. reacting to some shit, playing some other games. Yeah. But do an IRL stream today after this. So oh, like, are yeah, you really? Me Rage, yeah, me and Rage are going to do like a little IRL stream. So I'm trying to like. Like your Rage? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's in Atlanta? He's yeah, in he's, he's in Atlanta. Oh. oh all that, that's happening that, today? That's a yeah. crazy video shoot. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, that's, that's, that's dope. a crazy video yeah. shoot. Yeah. So okay, like, good. That's going to be like a quick, you know, like. IRL, I, I think I love the IRL content, like day in the life, like, you know, just like kind of yeah. stuff. It's so authentic. It's yeah. so natural. I, I agree. I agree. I, that's something I want to definitely tap into also. But the whole backpack, uh, you know, the like the 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 servers and all that shit is very confusing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I'm for sure, uh, for sure, definitely trying to tap into the IRL stuff. What type of IRL stream are you doing today? We don't know. That's the thing. I just kind of like that's good to wing know. it. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, just Sometimes wing it. Like you know, go chill, walk around. Like you know, I, don't, I really don't know like what we want to do. I had a, I had ideas before. I just didn't have the backpack. Like I want to do Halloween horror nights, but it's over now. Yeah, um, certain stuff. I mean, you can still do them. Thanksgiving yeah. is around the corner. Christmas is around the corner. Yeah. New Year's. Maybe stream me. You know, busting John when he couldn't guard me in the AMP phase game. Whoa, um, that didn't happen. Whoa. What basketball, football? Oh, the football. He's saying, he's saying the football game. Uh, John was on an island. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I know. I don't remember that. <laughs> Wait, why were you on John? Wasn't um, on defense or offense? D, uh, D, no, you could have gone because oh, D was oh, yeah, on. Yeah, Duke. No, I was. You wasn't really on an island. I was like a. I was like you was in the Bermuda Triangle. They went. They didn't want to bring those ships over there. I was. I was wide enough to carry the hose on. So my thing is when I play defense. It could go wrong or go bad. It's, it's a risk, but <laughs> I make them think they're open, <laughs> so they'll throw it to them or go that way. But then I'm already knowing, like, okay, I know how tall I am. <laughs> I so used to do that in elementary school. So I make them like, okay, think he open, right? He we got to do open. more shit. We got to do more. I like, know. I love, like, I love playing phase because, like, we win those games. Yeah. And it's okay. like, we don't always. Oh, yeah, that's when, we, that's when we play. We want to talk about Let's talk about When we play RDC, sometimes it's like more challenging. So, like, it's nice the to play. It's nice to remind us. It's a layup. It's nice yeah, to know yeah, that we can win and shit, because, too. Yeah, you know, that's crazy. <laughs> don't get me started. Because, listen, this is, here's, here's what I know. The two games I had, the first game I had three touchdowns and, like, what, 12 catches. The second game I had, like, 16 catches. So they couldn't guard me. That's a crazy stat. But, like, the second game, y'all added D strong. A D1 football player to the lineup as a kicker. Yo, adding people it doesn't matter. He's all athletic members. He is a beast. Yeah, like, he is come a beast. on, we we had to destroy. He is a beast this. though. He is a beast. I mean, he didn't get side face just for that game. No, 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 no. That, but that was like one of the first things he did though. It was so like literally it did the first feel, thing. in the moment. It did feel <laughs> opportunistic. Be oh, so be yeah. yeah, we almost signed an NFL player ourselves. We're like, fuck it, man. We need a seventh member A and P just for this matchup right here. No, but it was a good game. I like playing against. Yeah, phase is always. It's always a good ass matchup. I was nervous as fuck going into that second game. For those who don't know, we played. And we played an original flag football game versus FaZe. Yeah, we got uh, smoked. Yeah, that was I don't know how that happened. No either. denying we got smoked. Yeah, in to that be game. fair, like we could have blamed your QB. I don't know what was going on there. Oh, he, far, he, was, far, he was blowing some far, open by the, he's, he's blowing the some old open. fucking gunslinger. <laughs> yeah, that gun that was talking. Yeah, yeah, was he was definitely slaying that man. That gun is jamming. <laughs> <laughs> but the second the second one was better. It was way closer of a matchup and um And then he sold mass back sold that was he drew the play up for me at the end because they couldn't guard me and he looked away and then Tommy sold and dropped yeah. the mask. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a crazy job. He had yeah. a couple crazy jobs. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. But um, it was fun. At the end of the day, it was fun. We got to do more. I think we got to do basketball. Okay. That See, that would be less close though. That would be a war for game. who? Like y'all, y'all. It would be less close. We're, we're getting smoked. Yeah. 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 Well, you. No. 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 Yeah, y'all. Who will no, be on this? Who on the team? Who Who guarded me? Anybody Stop. really? <laughs> <laughs> we'll put Davis Man, on you. He'll lock you Davis. down. No, he won't. Guarantee. No, the fuck he won't. Davis, Yo, Davis, down. if you watch this, you cannot guard me. Oh wow! Oh, Davis. Wow! Whoa. Davis locking you down, bro. All right, we'll see. You know, hey, we might put, we might put Phantom on you. Phantom, Phantom okay. was yeah, really yeah, that's just straight. That's just straight. That's just straight. I'm not The group chat today, Phantom was asking us like, bro, like, do when y'all lay up, do you scoop or like? How do you No be, way, nigga. Are you in your 20s asking how to live? That's, that's crazy. That's that's Wait, so that's who, that's would y'all, who would y'all line up be? Who would y'all line up be? They, I put Nick. swag in there for sure. Swag for sure. Yeah. yeah. What, are they, uh, what are their strong suit? So, swag, what's his strong suit? He's a hooper. Yeah, swag a hooper. Yeah, swag a hoops. 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 I'm the best player in phase 100%. Really? 100%. They, you would put D in that game, too. D, yeah. D, swag. It would be me, D, swag. Ruck and shoot. But again, rug. size. Yeah, ruck and shoot. Don't put rug in the game. The problem is, is this. Yeah, yeah. Yo, this is I'm mad. This is, yo, no, 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 this is crazy. Sit, sit there, yo, tell him not to put the somebody in the game is oh, crazy. White and that Aiden Ross one v one will have me living as a basketball player. Nah, uh, right. Right. some of this shit y'all get away with. Rock can match up against Kai. That'd be a good matchup. I agree. Yeah. People gonna think like Kason got an ego. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just confidence. What the fuck? You you're supposed to believe in yourself. You know, you gotta talk your shit when it comes to sports. You gotta talk your shit. talk your shit. Here's the thing. Who's guarding Duke? Nobody. That's the thing. Who else is playing? Duke and who? There's nobody on the phase roster that's guarding. Well, you know, Tommy. Is he Tommy's, playing? Uh, probably. If I play, it's oh, bad. I mean, it's done already. Yeah, it's bad. It's he bad. probably can't. It's play. done already. It's done. What, John? If it's Duke and John on the same you, you team, you who? Yeah, absolutely. Who, who, who are you better than Duke? I'm probably probably right so. Now. Yeah, <laughs> Duke is probably at right now. Player. When Duke, last time Duke, 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 Duke played? Duke just nah, John is baby. nice as fuck, but Duke just takes over a game. Though. Like, it's not, you, are you more skilled? Like, do you guys uh, remember the yeah, OTF I'll game? That, I'll say he's I'll, more skilled. I'll he's without a Do you remember yeah, the OTF yeah, game? Duke is on some like Giannis shit. Where he, whenever he needs to, he just he's not the one who took over that game. Yo, who, who Duke that took game? over that game. Yes, he no, did. What's his name? Took over that game. Out of your mind, niggas don't be giving him credit. No, he didn't. What's his name? Snipe did good that game. Took over the game. He came off the bench. That's why he took over the game. His shooting is nice. You say Snipe took over that game. Snipe shot three. But if you think about efficiency, Duke just got to the rim with ease. Bro, Duke was like, are more you efficient than twos. What are you talking no. about? Anyway, bro, I was there. That's why I'm saying that. I remember him taking over. Just getting, I mean, <laughs> threes are more points. I'm saying efficiently, like, just getting to the basket, racking up them twos at ease. Yeah, he was getting easy buckets, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like Wait, who won that game? OTF or AMP? We won. Okay, yeah, yeah, won. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, we felt good, though, because we beat y'all. We beat OTF, then we beat y'all again. And then we were like, no, we feel great. So then we went to fucking DreamCon to play dodgeball against RDC, made it to the finals. Oh, I think we beat y'all there too again. I then, I no, we didn't. Did we play y'all? I need to play. No, we played um, Dante and he, they had like a medley of people. Okay. FaZe was there, wasn't they? I have no idea. I think idea. FaZe was like. I didn't um, get the invite. Anyway. Mm. Um, He's like, on, I man. wasn't there. Oh. <laughs> you no, should come, bro. RDC, <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie, DreamCon is one of the best conventions. Yeah, when is it? Uh, it's, it's in the summer. Summer? Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah, you do. Yeah. But I mean, next one I'll be there. Yeah. Hopefully. Be Hopefully. Fun, it'd be nice but to yeah. see you there. Basketball, but that's right. Anyway, yeah, we should yeah, we should do any other sport that's not football. I feel like it'd be yeah. Yeah. basketball. No. Basketball is not a good one for y'all. It's yeah. not. Basketball is not a good one for It's us. not. I guess we'll see. Like I guess we'll either. see. Because I'm a time bomber too. Like I really I'll dump that thing off. Like you would have thought I was Ray Charles. I'll look you dead in your eyes and like, oh they go Duke, Alley you. Now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nuts, nuts on swag. Boom. How do you, you, can you shoot? No, that's crazy. John, can you shoot? Yeah, he can, yeah, shoot. can shoot. Okay. Yeah. Well, shoot, how do you up, dribble? How do you pass? balance like all your different pursuits? So you, like I think you're a lot like I think all of us in the room kind of have like a bunch of different passions, but it's also nice to be focused on the ones you're like trying to be the most successful in. Yeah. But like that's you, you stream, you produce, you're DJing. Like how do you balance all it's, that? Because you have to tough. travel a lot. It's definitely tough. Um the answer is I don't even know how to balance it, but You're I just, just try and do it. It's <laughs> yeah. kind of like learning as, as time goes. Cause mm -hmm. I'd be streaming about like eight to 12 hours every day. And then people don't know when I get off camera and it could be four or five in the morning. Sometimes I don't even sleep. I'll just be working on music mm -hmm. and like just producing. And, um, so it's, it's hard. The DJing stuff, you know, those nights, obviously I can't stream. I'll be like traveling and DJ. And, um, obviously I also like, like to go outside. So like, those are like usually nighttime stuff. So it's, it's hard. It's, I kind of just pick and choose kind of as, as time goes. But mm -hmm. you know how it is with streaming. Like, it's really no days off. Yeah, you mm -hmm. kind of have to be on every day. Yeah. That's the thing with Twitch is it's really no days off. Like, 
it's you can't be like you're never you're never gonna grow as much if you're streaming two three times a week. That's because, a fact. You, know, you never so. know that day that's gonna be that one. It'd be the random days where you're like, I didn't plan on getting on, and it'd be the best stream. Yeah, People come in, it'd be just a, one or two guys I dropping agree. off fifty subs, a hundred subs, <laughs> <laughs> two people, and it'd just be lit, and you just be having a good stream. And you're like, dang, I didn't almost not get on today. So it'd be like one of the days where you're not doing nothing, get on stream because the possibilities are endless. Like with Twitch, you can really mm-hmm. do whatever. Yeah. You don't have to stick to gaming. It's really just you doing what you want to do to cross by time while you have chat interacting with you. You got stuff that happens in real time. Like, yo, watch this. Look at this. Hey, just doing yeah, this really right crazy. now. Hey, you got a box on or low pulled up. Come look at them. Pull up people's streams and react to that. <laughs> Police pursuits. That's uh, why, yeah. What happens actually, in your guys' house? I do. <laughs> I do got a, I got a beef house. with this. I got a beef with you, yeah. I will be. Yeah, I do <laughs> got a beef with you. There's a couple of people that slipped me a couple of things and you been talking real crazy. You got some? Yeah, oh. I got. Oh. It fr- it first, he's been waiting for this moment. Yeah, he, he probably was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, is he gonna bring it up at all? For, <laughs> this, am I talks in vain? For, first, it was it was uh, I first saw it on a TikTok. Yes, you saw it. Okay, all right, calm down. Let's go. Let's calm <laughs> down. Let's calm down. down. It was uh, what was it actually? It was because it was two things you did. It was two things you said and did. I can't remember which one. What was, was the one on TikTok that you um, posted? Um, uh, I know I said something about what category you'll be in. And TikTok, I think I well I said it. On oh yeah, screen. so I put I put a, a video on TikTok and it got like I think it's at four point five mil, and then he was and some people like, oh, did you see that new TikTok uh, low drop? He's like, I don't even know what I don't even watch low. I don't even watch oh, him, yeah, yeah, bro. I, I, I don't even oh, watch him. He egoed you. Yeah, he, he's like, I don't even ego watch. Dad. I don't even watch <laughs> low. Ego ego dad, he must he must be on the category of the fat fat black dude with um crusty toes. Something crazy. I was oh, yeah, like, man, yeah, come on. I said the big f- nigga breathing in the chair section. Yeah, I, was like, I don't have to care about search results. <laughs> and, my and, then, come by. and all I see on TikTok is like. L O like L O L in the chat. I'm like, all right, come on, guys. It wasn't that funny. Let's let's calm down. You did guys. one thing. You did something. You was talking about basketball, and I put the laughing laughing thing in it. It had me cracking up. I think you was trying to be educated about his takes. He was like, yeah. So I feel as if something. You was talking about somebody, and that shit had me weak. They sent me all your stuff. I don't know why, but people, I, I it's like I had two personalities because the Legend of Winning. When I upload something on Legend of Winning. Maybe there be people in the uh, comment like, yo, this is no way this is the same guy from playback. Like there's just no way that this is the same nigga right now. He just <laughs> he's talking way too educated right now. What's going on? Like I need you to yell. Yeah, they trying to they trying to uh get they, I told him to uh keep someone up so I can buy me out buy myself out my deal. So I could be in the You're not getting bought out your deal. Like, Don't I worry about, about it. Buy my deal. I mean you dropped that mixtape though, my boy. You're not getting bought out you're not getting bought you out. You got a deal. deal, it's not a good one at all. But I'm gonna for buy who? myself out of it. Hey, good luck with that. It's man. good for me. It's a good one for me. So I've been that's why I've been trying to Find new beats and be versatile and listen to different artists, so I can find that one song and I'm just gonna buy myself out of the deal. All right, go crazy, go go crazy, go crazy, John. (laughs) Oh shit! So um, you're shooting a music video today. Um, Are you dropping like a? How does it work with um, like DJ producers who also make music? Are you gonna drop a project eventually? Yeah, I'm already working on it. When you have the name and everything, you you can't say dates or anything like that. Just a date, you could literally to be determined. Like no idea. Probably like six months, eight months. And how long does it take you usually? Like, what's your process look like when you're making a song? Does it take weeks? Some people do they're it all, like in thirty minutes. They're all different. It all depends they're on all the song. Different. Yeah, uh, some could be a week. Some could be a year. Some could be two years. It just depends. It really just depends. And the two years means like, you know, labels getting. You know, people don't know like why songs yeah. don't come out. There's a lot of labels in the background. You know, they have their own projects. They have this. They have that. There's a lot of. A lot of politics that go into it that people don't know. So just know when an artist typically isn't dropping, it's probably because of the label. Um, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, you know, it's just, it is what it is. Um, so it's tricky, but right now I'm independent, so um, I could still kind of like, you know, freely do what I want. But again, as a DJ producer, I'm also, uh, I'm also at liberty to the artists who are signed to the labels, who I have to get their clearances to drop True. music. So um, it's tricky, but... um. Yeah, that'll probably. I'm definitely dropping a project. I'm already already been working on. It's gonna be like a curation of again the versatility of all these different songs. Like, mm-hmm. so um, it's gonna be all mixed up. So it'll be cool. Okay, nice. Uh, can you tell us the craziest story um, that you've ever like craziest thing you've experienced in the music business so far? Huh? Craziest thing I've experienced in the music business so far. In what in what perspective? Just like. 
crazy as in like you just couldn't believe it was possible or something wild or reckless happened or just like a <clears throat> like a euphoric moment almost you've also oh, this is a happy moment oh, it can be miserable too just <laughs> <laughs> i just don't know if you've had any of those um i don't think i've really had any yet i'm gonna be honest um i'd say like my happiest moment is you know, being a resident in Vegas, but that's not really a moment. That's more of like a accomplishment. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of like a specific moment that was just like, yo, oh my God, my music, this isn't even like anything. <laughs> my music video, uh, Future pulls up and um, <laughs> there's a lot of people on set. There's mm -hmm. a lot of people there. This dude just puts his head down, doesn't say hi to anyone. Even the director's like, yo, what's good? Does it dab up? Just looks at me. Goes, what's good? <laughs> goes upstairs. Yeah. I'm just like, God damn. <laughs> he goes dead. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. He just tunnel vision them. <laughs> tunnel vision them. Um, but it's also future. I'm trying to think of like an actual moment that's he's just really been so cool crazy. Person? Not cool. Like he just he matches that vibe that he just gives off. Like he's a cool. For like, sure, he mad though. He mad cool. Um, I would say like. I don't think I've had that moment yet. If I can't think of it, I don't think I've had, my, had that moment yet. Okay. We're going to have to double back. Yeah, we have to double back on that. Okay. Uh, what's your horniest moment? Horniest? Mm -hmm. Horniest moment. Yep. Like where you were so horny. <laughs> yes, is yes. That, somebody might think that they stutter when we say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is, it, is this a question on every single? Yeah. Moment? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you really? Okay. That's smart. <laughs> I guess I didn't do my homework enough. My hor Okay. So horniest moment. Yep. Is this like a trick question? Like no, it, like oh, what? What's that? So bad, like horniest moment. Like you. Why does everybody amazing. act like they've never heard that word? Horniest. Okay. All right. My most down bad moment. Not necessarily, no, not, but like you're horny. Where you just did something crazy? Where you, you were you, so horny? Yeah, you like you like, drove three hours or uncontrollably like, horny. Done some fuck shit. Mm. Mm. I definitely did one time drive two and a half hours from LA to. Oh, put the mic get, closer. We got to make sure we hear this one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> I went to, I joined time, it was like three in the morning and I was in LA and I was just, oh, yeah, you're right. I was just like, I gotta get some fuck. That thing was it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I gotta do something. What the fuck? And I what drove all the way to San Diego. <laughs> what a way to describe it, man. That thing beacon, you know what I'm saying? Beep, beep. You know what I'm saying? It's time to go. It, it needs some attention. I've never heard that. That's crazy. I've never heard I that. That's how you said leaking, man. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 no, that's crazy. It started leaving. Well, you drew you drove to LA to San Diego? Yeah, it's like a two two and a half hour drive. Yeah, I've driven I've driven that before. That's crazy. Just to get, you know, top at McDonald's drive through. Just for top. Well Gee, I was you hungry. Didn't think that, though. I picked her up and it just kinda happened. And obviously as you guys know, I mean I was obviously gonna Oh, she was just being thoughtful. Yeah, I was gonna hit, but then like, you know, once you know the horniness leaves. Oh, it's kind of over at you that. You drove point. two and a half hours only for you to lose your horniness. But you said this is down bad. It was. I would. There was oh. a bad. It's a bad stress. It's not happy. Like, this is bad. Like bad was, I was really like, upset at myself. Not. She's fired. Okay, okay. But I'm saying like, bro, I have really bad post nut clarity. So like, the second I like, you feel me? Like, yeah. I can't look at you anymore. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's like you disgust me. I'm no, like, wow. like I really. I, for some reason, this, 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 why this, did I leave my bed? I need my space. <laughs> my post on clarity is so fucking bad, like so bad. Like, do you get like regretful? Like, man, I should be working right now. Hell yeah, I get regretful. It's like sometimes, sometimes I'm like, fuck. So bad. And then you want to like leave and get rid of them. And it's like some, obviously, you know, people go a couple times. I'm that guy that the second I nut, I'm like, bro, I'm out. Get out. I'm, unless it's my Get girlfriend, out. I'm out, bro. So I can like, see clearly now the rain is so, gone. So you got there, lost, lost, lost temptation. Lost temptation. She sucked your dick anyway at McDonald's. Yeah. No, 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 no. You had a temptation up until she sucked your dick. Oh, of then, course I, know. I had heavy temptation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then you got your dick sucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was done. Then it's gone. Okay. It's always more. What happened? She wanted more. She, yeah. Oh yeah. What no. I, but like then it's like, yo, it's late. Yeah. I've I've she wake up at eight in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Like, you drove. But then again, like I got so that drive back. I hope you know was one of the most down bad drives of my life. Because <laughs> that's two and a half hours back just to get top in a McDonald's drive through. And that's what after the post nut clarity, you be thinking about was it really worth it? Yeah. You be I just drove two hours for some nut. Like, my, not not nut, but like to get head. Yeah. <laughs> My next day is kind of ruined. Hey, like, man. Yeah, John, yeah, you bro. good? No. 
<laughs> Ever since you be saying, bro, too casually. No, no, but like, it's, but you think, like, it makes sense. Cause on the way there, you're like, yes, I can't wait. I'm ready to get there. It's worth it. This two hours, I'm going to knock it out. Well, of course, my brain is thinking something else. On the way back, you're like, damn. I'm trying to get there ASAP. I'm, the, the music is good. The vibes are good. You're putting that GPS. The GPS. <laughs> the way back, I'm bumping like, Rod Wave the whole time. Like, fuck. I was saying, he just dropped. Ooh. He did just, yo, yeah. W album. Yeah, he does not miss. It's one of my favorite artists. Okay. Yeah, anyways. I, know, I would just come in at that point, though. If I drill two hours, I mean, just give me like 20 minutes and then we'll but I can't, it. I'm telling you, like, my post on Clarity is so bad. I feel you, though. I shut down. Yeah. Like, I really shut down. And all I can think about like, is Round leaving. twos can be tough if I don't really like you. Yeah. Straight up. Or you're not nasty enough. You gotta be real nasty. <laughs> you gotta bring that, yeah. that, 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 what do you that, mean by that? Yeah. If you're, like you're a freak. If she's really nah, because if you have bad post and not clarity, you don't want to do something really nasty after you know. Because then you look at her like, you're gonna be like, 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 what the fuck are you doing? Saying, he's saying like she a Dyson. Yeah. Like yeah, you guys you know obviously like, that is, right? You gotta be like yeah. going it, and then like what she, like after I done, after I done <laughs> nut it, and then like, now she's like, she's still going like, wow, like, but if you give me a time to break, if you give me a break, like you stop and both chill out, you give me time to really realize what I just did, and, and, and take accountability of my actions. I should be in bed right now. Then it's like I lose everything. But, but that's the stop. problem. I don't want it to, like that break. That like from from the from as a as a lady boy. Yeah. Yo, oh, yeah. Bro, they got so they're, many of them. Uh, they're everywhere. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is a lot of, a lot of good luck. Here. A lot of good luck. Yeah. Let me kill him. No, no. <laughs> What's your problem? Damn. No, this is this is. Oh this yeah, is dope. everywhere. I think they're they're, um, they're hybriding in our incubator. It's a lady bug incubator. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's like a big yeah. shad. He's yeah, just shad. He's like just a mama shad. lady He's bird. Just They're everywhere. Look, lady John, I didn't realize you be shad. Yeah, yeah. John's Top a chatter. professional chatter. Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, that break, that that from the nut to like that break, I can't really like. It's tough to like, because I know once you get through it, you're good. But I have really big trouble getting through it. So that was anyways. That was that was a one of definitely many. Many is crazy. Many what moments happened? of like, just like you know, like maybe. Wait, what happened the to the debate? The debate that you said earlier, guys. When you when someone says turn the AC up, is that making it colder or warmer? Colder. Colder. Don't yeah, it's, it's colder. It is colder. It's colder. Oh, trust me. There's there's a big debate about this. Like I'm telling you, there was like a almost like I, I was in a session with Trippy. Half the room was fifty percent saying when you turn the AC up, it's warmer. And half the room was saying colder. I'm like, if I'm saying turn the AC up, it's make the room colder, colder. right? Obviously, yes. yes. But you it literally, when you turn up. the AC up, it's getting warmer. So that's their debate. It's like because like if you press the button, oh, no, turn the thermostat. Turn the AC up. up means making the power of the AC stronger. Yeah, yeah. But like turn the thermostat. Turn, turn the thermostat that off. Means, yeah. That means turn hotter. the temperature up. Right. Means like, yeah. Who AC says that though? Cold. You'd so be surprised. Though. I'm telling you, even people watching this, they're gonna be like. No, it means make it warmer. Well, those niggas hot at the time. Well, no, in Atlanta, yes. it, yeah. it, 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 okay. Very. Well, yeah. yeah, in Atlanta, we just very. we just like turn it on, stop smoking. <laughs> huh? All trippy does is smoke. Yeah, smoking the wood, like yo, like you turn the AC up, it's hot in here. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. I mean, interrupt you. What no, you no, no, no. We just say just turn. We just turn the heat on. Just say just turn the heat on because it's not like you need to get that much hot in Atlanta. Just turn yeah. the heat on. And that's like literally it. It's cold but, yeah. now. Though. It's chilly now. It's cold. I, yeah, I, it's I flew cold. in my hands were freezing. Don't forget, LA is not usually you know. Yeah, fair, we're not fair. used to the cold. Over this there. is freezing. It, it was like thirty nine when I when was, I. I think landed. last night went outside. Okay, don't don't get him started. He's gonna be like, I'm from I'm from Canada, so this I don't say. It. I barely say that though. Thirty nine. You cold. literally just said it two days ago. <laughs> oh, but I say like once every three months. It's just so surprising to me. People could it could be over freezing temp and people are complaining here. You don't it's think thirty nine is cold? It's, it's not cold. Cold is like when you need a winter jacket. No, or you can't no, see no. Yeah. no, 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 no. He doesn't even believe. He doesn't think that cold is a thing. Don't stop. Oh, yeah. I also believe you don't have to feel cold. <laughs> what does that mean? Like you can decide not to, but it takes energy. Like I don't think like you can decide not to feel cold. Because <laughs> yes, 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 your I mind agree. is more powerful than you than you give it credit for. So if cold is just a reaction, so your body can get warm. So it needs to be at equilibrium. Ten degrees. What do you mean by That's that? That's cold. Let's say the temperature is negative 10. My like, brain is out. I guess it depends from where you're from. Of course, it's like, it's anyway, I just, I've Plus been, I've been, in, I've basically had hypothermia before. And I realized that like, if you just decide to not feel it, then your body's not going to internalize the feeling. So even if your body's reacting to it, your brain, you don't feel it. Okay. That's the best way to explain it. Right it's now, like when you get used to a uh, uh, ice, ice baths. Like right, when you, you first do it, it's brick, That's like unbearable. Sure. Yeah. But it's a mental battle, and if you just tell yourself, you just you 
condition yourself to believe like, yeah, bro, it's not as cold as niggas make it out. Yeah. It. Then over time, like it just feels like a cold bath. Okay. That make I'll give you that. That definitely yeah. makes sense. Anyway, I learned that shit the, the hard way, man. <laughs> I learned that shit the hard <laughs> yo, way. Yo, you three really like, like you two got beef over Loki beef over here. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And then right here. It's a little tension. It's, it's a, it seems like you're the common denominator. Hmm. I'm the common denominator or what? He's the big issue. No, no, I just I just know I know I already heard the story that he got he left he was left outside when he was a child and nobody saved him, so he just got cold. <laughs> That's such a weird way to tell a story. <laughs> I came back up. Oh no, 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 I'll tell you back. Somebody did try to save him and he was like, I can't talk to strangers, so he just No, to that's also not true. I definitely went in the stranger's car, but he only took me halfway. So that's all the things you got out. You were right making the cold. Aw. Yeah, look at this. That's a little ladybug. Yeah. Hey, buddy. They're fucking with me. Also, they just hate me. But Wait, I got to hear the story. Oh, it's, it's, it's the short version story that I was hooping at a, a community center. And uh, it was Saturday. And I didn't realize all the buses were in done. In Canada. Yeah. That's and right. I was in t-shirts and shorts because I just got done hooping. And um, I went outside to wait for the bus. And I waited an hour and a half realizing that. Because, you know, sometimes on the weekends it comes every hour. Yeah. I was Because back then the bus system was worse. I'm going to think about a little you. I was frozen. Know. And then I just started walking. It was like an hour and a half walk, though. But I just started walking. And then some guy picked me up. He brought me halfway. And then I went from there. I kept walking. I went to another bus station. And that bus station, I thought, like, oh, this bus. I waited 40 minutes only to find out, like, that was the last bus. Yeah. Turns out I was wrong. There was one more bus. But I fucking missed it because I started walking. It was a fucking horrible experience. But by then I was very numb. And I also realized <laughs> midway that. <laughs> That you don't have to feel cold. Like I went from like feeling the cold to like I don't feel it. I don't feel it. So that day changed your life. I don't feel it. I don't feel it. Yeah. Oh, and I just yeah, realized yeah. if I just keep telling myself that I don't have to feel it. So I, I just did that moving forward. I just wore shorts when it was brick cold outside, and I just felt it less. But it's 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 mental though, and okay. it takes stamina. So like if you if you're tired that day, you don't want to go through that. <laughs> just wear a winter jacket. You but say yeah. he drove you halfway. Really, really. He's interesting a good guy. Stuff. He just drove me straight. He just went up the street. Oh, yeah. Think about you see a kid freezing outside. I take about ten minutes down the road. <laughs> no, no, no. To be fair, he he did offer, but I just didn't want to drive him all the way to my house. Oh. So I told him like, so no, you can just take you. me straight. You can just he take wanted, me straight. He want he want to get his car to train to take him all the way home. Yeah, yeah. Because once once he starts doing turns, like I'm getting nervous. How old were you? I don't know, like fucking thirteen. Is it crazy? My mom would have beat me if a stranger brought me home. I mean that's something you probably shouldn't do. Yeah, but if I'm outside freezing, like yeah, that within yeah within context, that I would definitely get in the car. That's, that's what I'm saying. My mom you imagine like, me now he knows where we live. At 13 with a t-shirt and shorts, and it's, I swear it's like a blizzard outside. Like it's very cold. Yeah, you can help me out. Like you're not a heartless person. Someone's gonna stop. I feel like he's even more heartless than me to just drive you five blocks and be like, all right, get out. But I told him that's what I wanted though. He did. He tried to coerce you. Like, come on, you know, you, you know, know, you, know, I you, know you want to stay in this car, right? Just right here. He was a respectful guy. He was a good fucking guy, man. Good fucking guy. Sounds like a good fucking guy. I think it'd be better. Nah. He just saved me like forty-five minutes of walking. Nah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, in the freezing cold. Yeah, so cold outside. I can take you all the way. Okay, why are you saying yo, it like that? Yo, <laughs> what's up with you, man? I take you all the way home. Come on, it's cold outside. I was thirteen, John. I don't want you to get. I know that's why it's crazy. You were thirteen. You pneumonia, right? No, I think people are people are a lot more like vicious and cynical here than in Canada. Um, oh wow! Yeah, in Canada, there's plenty of places where like you could just leave your door open and be fine. Mm. Leave it open. Yeah, actually, in 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 our one of the communities. Uh, it's, everything I say sounds rich nowadays, but one of the houses I have. Oh like, wow! Many many of the neighbors just leave the doors wide open, not even like cracked, not unlocked, fucking open. Sort of guy. One house you you own in Atlanta, or one house you own in Canada? I don't own any homes in Canada. Oh, oh, that I mean, those are lost. I'm sorry. Um, I don't own any properties so. there. Jesus, man, this nigga's dragging it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, hey, I want to race you one day. What's your fastest car? Uh, the Urus. Okay, never mind. Oh, you, got, you got the F4 though. Yeah, but it's not gonna be the years. It might Probably be the years. It, it might be the years on the track, but turn, on a, turn, straight away I think I'm winning. But like, yeah, you know, on a track I probably yeah. yours can turn though. Have yeah. you ever bought it to a track? No, I haven't bought it yet. I feel like that'd be a fun experience. You should try that. I think so too. Yeah. Um, yours first M4. I, used to, I had an M4 once. One of my favorite cars. Word. I did. Damn. What happened? Uh, I sold it. Why I, did you I, do I was. I, bro, I know. I just. <laughs> Why? I had it for like I had it for like three years, yeah. and it was just time for something new. Yeah, I just like the aftermarket on the M4s. It's, it's fun. You can yeah, buy you them go and make crazy. Them have you seen mine? Uh, I saw. I think it was when I came when you were streaming last week. I saw oh, it outside in the garage. Yeah, yeah, that was sick. 
Yeah, and of and course, I've seen in GTA the one of one. Of course, of course. Of course. Everybody yeah, in the city has it, apparently. So <laughs> everyone has the same car. It's like populated, it's like 40 of them in the city. Everybody has it. It's yeah. Whatever. Like my exact specs, too. Every oh, wide body, my exact wing, my exact carbon fiber, everything, lip. Yeah, so that I car is lip, though. Yeah, they took it all, man. But oh. anyway, hey, Kason, thank you so much for joining us, man. Appreciate you having me. Oh, wait, I feel like we have one more question. Whoa, yeah. what? we did, right? Yes. Yeah, more. He said, "Well, well, oh yeah." So well, we, we do. Okay, we have two more questions. One okay. you kind of already answered. Actually, is your most down bad moment? Was the McDonald's one your most down bad moment? I mean, on the top of my head, okay, it's not. But like, but it's not. No, it's not. Okay, uh, so you, you sim harder. Now right? think, think on that answer while you answer the next question. He already has it. Your biggest sim moment. He has it. Okay, I will say it's not even one specific moment. There was just like a time where I was like flying out a lot of girls and like sometimes okay. it didn't pan out. How much is a lot? Okay, I got to relax. I might forgot that, like, you know, like. <laughs> no, 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 no. You ain't got to. Like over 10? Any flying yeah, out. Yeah, I, fl- I fly out over 10. Any flying out. No, no, no. In this. In over, this over 25? Over time. No, 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 no. Over 25? No, no, no. In this. No, in oh, this. What do you mean? Like the and these are the fuck, right? Of course. Okay. What? Yeah, listen. You find that girl. Well, like, what, what's yeah, up? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, give us like the tips. Give us some flying out girls. No, tips. wait, wait, wait. Over this stretch. That you're referring to How many women Were you flying Over out? 30 oh, Let me think Nah I would say like Probably like 20 25 Okay you're close <laughs> Close 30 That's a humble answer so. uh, How long is this stretch <laughs> Is this like a more? month stretch No No what, That's a month a day. Days like, a month. Come on. No this that's is like, this like A few years Like yeah. I had, a girlfriend, I had a girlfriend for a year, you know. It's oh, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tight shit, tight shit. So, like, so yeah, within like, like a year's time, you fought 25. Not a year, women. more. I'd say like a few years. Even within a year, that's not bad. <laughs> no, that's not bad at all. It's 365 days. No, that is, though, John, because that's like he one every four days. You gotta, you gotta understand something, though. This is my point is within those moments, like, don't, let's just say, let's just save your conversation's sake, four year span. Let's just throw that out there. Let's just say that. Okay. All right. Don't forget, this, like I said, some of these have been so down bad to the point where I would bring someone, I'd be like, fuck. Like this is not what I expected. That's like one a month. Sure, one a month. It's like girl of the month. One a month. It's but a let's bro- just say like then it's like fuck. And then like don't forget they're coming here to stay with you even yeah. if it's for a night. Yeah. So um, wait, they stay at your crib? Half and half. It depends. You get a hotel. It depends like on like on the how group. much yeah. you like him or how much yeah you how much I fuck with them okay. how much I like him but like it's just so many different moments and so many different like. All right, I ain't gonna lie. This sounds nasty now because now I'm just realizing he's post nut clarity. Yes, Imagine him exactly. flowing somebody out, and then it's like, man, this, just is, know, this, this is a terrible decision. I've, I've made. never dated anyone off someone flying out or like continuously hooked up with. So just know, like every time it happens, it's like I regret it. Like it's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Hey, it's just like at first it's like yo, and no, then it's no, like the wait, this person doesn't live here. I can't just go home. Wait, how long do they stay? Usually like a day. Okay, that's not that bad. Yeah, but, but still, then also like I feel like a shit person too. At the same time, it's like a lot of like emotions and a lot of like, damn, like you still you feel here. like a bad yeah, guy. Yeah, after, after you know you're like yeah, you still wipe here. Your face, get a little food. You eat. You think you by yourself again. The whole vibe like, changes. The whole man. energy changes in the room. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, do tonight. You still here, huh? But I don't be playing them though. It's kind of like it's kind of like you know what's up. Like it's kind of like you know what I mean. Like I'm not like yo. I really like you. Like yeah. I want to like you know. I see. Okay, like, so what's the tips? Like John said, what yeah. is the tips to let them know? Like for little niggas that get some paper, they want to fly somebody out. Oh come on, you be you be doing your thing probably. Hmm? Say so you you in terms of yeah, flying this, out this for me and other people too. This for everybody. Oh, yeah, he's just looking out for the rest of the guys. Yeah, oh, a good. I think guy. it's like be like. I always say with girls, bro, don't you, I think the one thing with girls is if you like someone, don't be too available and don't, and don't, what? <laughs> don't yeah. be too available. <laughs> so Wait, you, what tell, it means you telling like, girls that? No, no, I'm telling you the guys who, oh. I'm saying like, don't turn the girls off. Like if you start hitting them up all the time and like always wanting to hang out, like if you're too available, they okay. ain't going to like you. But like to the girls, you're flying out just to fuck. Like it's kind of just like, you can kind of just like be a little more aggressive and straight up in terms of like, you know, how you're, you're talking to them. Yeah. Like more and aggressive means more a little more clear. You're obviously not saying yo pull up to like fuck. You're never doing that. Never do of that. Course. Yeah. <laughs> never do that. Just kind of like you know, let it be known. Kind of like you know, what's up? Yeah. Like yo, pull they don't up, know what come that stay mean. for a day. They don't know what that means. You gotta when you tell a girl come stay for a day and leave the next day. You're not getting to know them. For sure. It's kind of like in the writing. You know what I mean? Like let's be real. Mm-hmm. You're, you yeah. yo come come for the day. Have you ever flown someone out and they didn't want to fuck? Yeah, it's happened. For sure. So how you react to that? I, I be chill. I'm like, you know, it is what it is. Like, obviously, it's like... It's frustrating. Yeah, like, what am I going to do? Like, rage? 
Yeah, you know what? You they still and they still stay with you. <laughs> it depends, bro. There's nah. been so many different times. <laughs> he said probably nah. not. Nah, you gotta hold the L though. You guys, yeah. sometimes you gotta take the L. You know, you gotta think about if you're doing your thing right and they come in and you gotta just take the L. You gotta just work harder and make it back. Yeah, you gotta, I feel like the L is based off perspective. And if nobody it knows is. about that L, it's not really an L. I need like specific situations because again, there's just been so many different situations. Do they where look like how they like these women always look the way they, yeah, they no, look? No, not sometimes. No, that's why I'm saying sometimes I get I'm like fuck. It's not what it is. You uh-huh. know what I mean? That's what I meant. Like yeah. sometimes, like oh shit. You so then I stop taking right? those risks. No, Catfish I wouldn't. Oh, you don't even fuck. No, out? no, I wouldn't. That's not how like, you play that off. You like ah, I'm tired. Be a little tired. more friendly. Be a little more friendly. A little more like yeah, I'm tired. I got a lot of work. Um, Put them on with a homeboy. No, no, I haven't done that. That's crazy. That's I, do. I, bet I haven't done mad. that. That's smart though. But yeah. when I be bringing girls in, I'm not with my with my home. You pass that on to someone else for sure. If I don't want it, somebody do. If it's that, what is that? We uh, have too many mutuals for me to just know some shit like that. That's crazy. crazy. Somebody's someone's trash is someone's treasure. Stop. Someone, <laughs> bro. Wait, 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 shut up. Next man's trash is another man's treasure. Yo, shut up, bro. Shut up. Pass your one person's trash is another man's treasure. Yeah, somebody gonna drive two hours for this. You could drive fifteen minutes. That's like right now. That's like a. That's like a fucking that's a, that's like a saying for art, not like humans. <laughs> you're, you're applying this well, to human beings. Well, you do, you lied to me. <laughs> now you said you were. So, right. but yeah, as of recently, as of as of definitely the last like year or two, I haven't been flying out a lot. This is more like when I was a little younger. Oh, okay. so you had points though. You had, you definitely have flyer points. I don't really be using my points. Nah, if you I fly don't even know someone where my else, points go. You don't get the points. The person you flew get the points. What if you yeah. put your own email? Doesn't matter. I did not know that. Yeah, How do you know that? I was in a relationship for a year and a half. She was fucking diamond. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> she was Delta diamond out of her mind. Damn. Yeah, upgrades for free and all. So you were always flying her out? Yeah, because she was long distance. Okay. Yeah. Long distance is tough. No, it's ass. I'm yeah, are, we, I, I are, we, are we cutting this portion out of the podcast? What's going on right now? This is old, though. This is old. It's a while ago. Well, okay. Right. Yeah, a while we, can, ago. we can move on, though. We can move yeah, on. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, uh, yeah, what's yeah. the top five things you look for in a woman? Yeah, it's clutch. Top five things I look for in a woman. Well, first I always say um, you got to be attracted. You know, there's got to be attraction. Okay. Thank you. So write Hold that on. down. Let me get this. Uh, yeah, number yeah. one. When people always say <laughs> that's funny. Like when people said, always say I personality, always say. I'm sorry, bro. Like, okay, okay. So I have a question. I'm if telling she you. hits every other thing you want, bro, she's a perfect woman, but she looks mid. So now she looks bad. Now she looks Am great. I, I'm not attracted She's to just average. He's nope. like six. Yeah, six well, or seven. Can't do it? Can't do it. Thank you. Can't do it. It may see. I have to be attracted, bro. I have to. It has to be the, the first thing for me is the attraction. The first thing. Thank Before you. I even okay. talk to you, I gotta look at you and be like. Now think about think about your dream woman though. She's attractive. Now she has my all dream the personality attractive. traits my dream of your dream fire. woman. But she's not she's just she's just average. That's like if you the, go that's if you go outside. Woman, that's a nightmare. I'm not settling. Yo, I'm not settling. I'm not woman. I will never settle. That's settling. Yeah. How's that gonna be my dream woman? I'll like, go find my dream girl with the whole personality, everything, and she's and she's hot. Okay, <laughs> this adorable ass ladybug, laugh. man. Made me laugh, cook a great meal, scare me every once in a while. <laughs> yo, no way, yo. You gotta, <laughs> All right, but it, it makes well, like, this thing's crazy. He's just scaring me every now and then. Like, but okay. I'm saying, I'm not saying hideous though. But if that's what I'm sick, saying. Y'all drag. He, he's it. saying she's mid. Like, like she's a she's average, nigga. When you go outside, the average woman. Uh, eight's not average. But what's the average woman? Everyone else. See again, average woman to someone average? else might be different. What's the average woman? Give so me average, average. Fine. Even average to y'all, average looking woman. Like who? Nigga, I can't what, give I you an example. Average 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 you. I don't know what's average. average, average, average person. Like a celebrity or, an, or anyone that like, yeah. look, give me an example. Give me an example. Of an average person? Of someone that's bad? That's bad? That I never man. said bad, bro. I just said she's not. Okay, look, nigga, it's very easy. Not beautiful, not hideous. Down the middle. Okay, so she's like a six. Yeah, she's a six. Yeah, sure. like a six. Yeah, sure. I ain't doing that. No, hell no. no. Hell no. He said, hell, hell no. You know, I'll do our friend. I'll be her best friend. <laughs> yeah, can, can no, I tell you why? Because no, I like with, the honesty with, though. With benefits. Well, no, what? but see the whoa, whoa. Jesus. See that? that these, but yeah, give her benefits. Benefits is your is your dick. Pause. It could be Jesus, but she. You think she's mid though? I got I got hands too. So you're fucking. You, so so you're telling me you you fuck mid? Huh? 
You just told he me say, you, he said she's not mid though. He said she just no. Jasmine, he, he did, did say, say mid. Just, like, so you're she's, hitting? She's the most oh, loyal. Okay, she's okay. great at I communicating. She, <laughs> she gets great head. That's, no, mid is middle. She's mid. very understanding. Okay, all that shit. Is, what he was saying made it look. I'm saying she she looks atrocious. No, no he said that's, mid. That's what you keep jump, jumping okay. to every time we had this conversation. I, she just looks average. Nobody bro. She has ever said atrocious. She doesn't look great. She's a six. So what on the scale of one to ten? What number is she? Six. six. You six. keep saying no, yeah, it, six. John. No, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be her friend. I'm Yo. gonna be her good friend. Because <laughs> <laughs> guess what? She has a good personality. If she's a six, she make she for has, a good friend. She, she makes so, for a good she friend. She hangs around with tens. So okay, so so no, look, by that logic, are you capable of having female friends that are attractive? A t- I have a ton of female friends that are attractive. A lot, no. and you don't fuck them. No, never. Never. Yeah. I have a lot of really, really hot. Shut friends. up, John. So wait, shut, shut the fuck up. You That's just true. say this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But there's you, a line you, you don't. There's a line you don't cross. With I'm not, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about line. business right now. No, no, not even business. Yeah, I'm just saying like in your personal life. In my personal life, there's a line I feel like I don't cross. That like, I, listen, I really do have a lot of like hot girlfriends, but like. So if they wanted to fuck I really right do. now, no, I really do. Like yeah, yeah. like I'm just really in That's the mood different. right now. It depends which ones. Like I have like my friend Kelsey, right? Kelsey's like literally like a lot of guys want to fuck her. The one Aiden's obsessed with right now. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so okay. That's one of my best friends. Okay. okay. I don't want to say obsessed. He's not obsessed. He he, he fucks. But me. he's on her body though. Okay. He's on her body. Yep. Um, I will. Ne- if she told me like I want to fuck today, I would I would not do it because we're literally like brother and sister. I think there's like certain people that like. Like I, over time, I gained such a close friendship with uh-huh. that. There's a line, and I have that with a lot of my girlfriends. Okay, okay, I can see that. Because yeah. it's previously sounded like anytime somebody wasn't attractive enough, but they had good qualities, you just be like, as a friend. But hey, they got friends. Yeah, mm. you know what I'm friends saying. Friends got friends. Have friends. Friends got friends. That's so exactly. that's true. You're not cute. I don't care about your other person. I'm not gonna lower about that because I'm gonna walk past you in life. Okay, yeah. Man. So we got four more. Four Somebody more. Somebody's put together a John got, compilation. I know. John, John is ridiculous. John, 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 John just yeah. be chatting. All right. So that we got looks at one. So the attraction is first. Yeah, attraction is first. After that, um, I don't even know if this is a an, a thing, but like I'm gonna take you out. If the if the vibe is there, the vibe is there. I could, you hold so the vibe, conversation. A conversation. Hold the conversation. Hold the conversation. You can't hold the conversation. Hold the conversation. Hold the conversation. Hold conversation. Yeah. yeah. Like so, you gotta hold the conversation. Underrated. That's an underrated. I think so. I think it's really important. Like okay. um, that kind of is communication, though. But communication. Yeah. Um. But, but I feel like communication is yeah. more like when you're dating. Oh yeah, that's my. That's more okay. talking between your partner and spouse. But holding yeah. conversation me. You can do other stuff than just sitting there. Bro, and this phone. Little... If it doesn't stop fucking. <laughs> God <laughs> damn, bro! It's like nonstop yeah. today. Nonstop. It's like the. Just put it on silent. Yeah, yeah, do not off. disturb. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's making it. Yeah. Oh, God, God damn! Off and held it tight. <laughs> yeah, he just tossed that bitch. Like he just threw I, that. I don't want to see it, man. It won't stop. It's like every three seconds. Okay. Um. All right, hold a conversation. Hold the conversation. Personality is like kind of broad, but yeah, like it is too broad. You it's too go. broad. It's yeah. like. Like pers- what about their personality? What about the personality? Can make me laugh. Okay. It's humorous. Right. Humorous, but also can take a joke. Yeah. Okay. Like that, that's another thing. I'm very much like so humorous. Yeah, humorous. I'm very much like you know, um, very jokative and sarcastic. So if you can't really handle that, then like there's nothing. You know what I mean? There's really like probably yeah. can't date you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'd say fourth is what would be a good fourth. You got you know nice body. You know, yeah. goes a long way. So yeah. Attractive and crazy. nice body. Because it really emphasizing. Yeah. There's pretty face and then your body too. Yeah. You can have the body and not the face. Yeah, that's so. That's so what you, you I feel like you care more about the body than the face. Uh, no, that's the thing. <laughs> that's the I don't like that. I, some some niggas be getting booty blinded. Where they'll they'll be a, it'll be a girl that has the body of like <laughs> the thirst trap of hell. Like Kim Kardashian if it was natural with the face yeah. of Eddie Murphy and they be like, oh she's Why so bad. Why does y'all give you the vibe? That he's more of a body guy. No, I don't know. I, don't like, I, don't like, like, I want the face. Like I rather the face card be smooth. Like the, I realize I agree. you're not fucking the butt. You the face the to me is more important than the body. But if you don't really have yeah. a, you know, why don't you try to fuck the butt though? Huh? What? Why don't you try it? What are you talking about? Like the, the, the size of the ass doesn't matter. It doesn't change the sex. Like the pussy, what matters? Like that thing wet. I rather have a wet pussy and be big, big cheeks <laughs> than a big old. Baby. You don't like grabbing ass when you fuck it. I mean, it's, I feel like it's imaginary. I feel like it's... It's, it's not imaginary. The ass, <laughs> is, the, the ass is not, a, the ass is not I imaginary. Like, I, feel like, I feel like it just does something. Like, actually, like, I feel like it helps with your imagination with the booty being there. Like, you smacking and playing with it. But 
It appears if you really care about A lot about of details, that. John. You know yeah, he's very descriptive. Very descriptive very, he's a very detailed like guy. A kind of picture what I'm thinking. So okay, I don't need to do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that the fifth thing or fourth? No, you got that one more fourth. Thing. Body. And then last, I'd probably say, am I dating the person or am I not dating the person you're yet? Date, no, this yeah, is somebody yeah. you're trying to like oh, so I'm not be dating real yet. with this person. I'm not dating yet. No, you, I mean, you're, 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 this is what you want to be with. Okay, I would say clinginess, I don't like. Okay. okay. I like a girl who has something going on for herself. Independence. Really important. Like someone who like, like I don't like a girl who like has nothing going for her. Is just always like laying around. It's always going out. Like I like someone who really got some, like some motion, some shit going on. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. um, you know, like I can be doing my thing and working, and she's doing her thing working. Mm-hmm. I think that's something super underrated that like got, oh, guys don't really like look into because a lot of people when they're in relationships they just want to be with their girl twenty four seven. But like from my past experience when I was with my girl, the one thing I really did like is like she had her own thing going for her, and I didn't always have to be with her. Mm-hmm. So that's just that's my I think that's my five. Okay. That's, that's, a, that's, we a, got. that's a solid Attractiveness, list. Mm-hmm. holding the conversation, humorous, body, and independence. Yes. Mm. Solid mm. list right there. That's a good-ass list, man. Yeah. Okay. Am I missing a question? I always normally just ask, like, what is your favorite, like, thing? So, like, what's your favorite song that you ever produced? It's only been two that yeah, we know of. Actually, yeah. But the next one is my favorite. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, just then the process of everything that went through it. My ne- this next one to me is so special. Um, it's a really street record, but um, just like the you know what went what went on with with the song plenty. We never asked how did you get with Faze. We never asked that question. Yeah, I mean you briefly kind of alluded to it, but yeah, how it does was, how does a producer get on Faze's radar? Yeah. So I already knew some of the Faze guys just mm-hmm. on nightlife in L.A. And I remember I was on my way to well, Tommy Temper was really recruiting me. Um, and then um, it wasn't even for music. That was the funny part. He just wanted me to be a part of Phase. Like he, they just really fucked with me. Mm-hmm. Um, and so um, I remember like my current manager Darren, like he's the head of talent, and he he uh, he um, was like, kidding me, like yo, come have this meeting. So I went to the Phase house. There was like eight meetings, um, and they were just heavily like Banks, Temper, all of them, all the heads were just really like just doing the most to get me in, and I really appreciated that. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it was kind of like you know. Um, it was natural, easy. Um, it wasn't like a crazy like process. It was just you know like it was meant to be. What what was like? What were they saying during the pitches though? Like were they trying to convince you? Were they trying to convince you as a content creator, as a producer, as a DJ? Like what would be your role? You know when I pulled up to that meeting and even they wanted me to be a part of Phase, no one knew what it was. I always loved music and wanted to get into music. Mm-hmm. Um, so I obviously let let that be known. But again, you know. Um, at the time I wasn't an internet Like I, I was not, I'm not at all on the internet mm-hmm. I, w- I was just a super well connected guy in LA um, So The pitch kind of was like We see a lot with you your per- Like you know your personality And like mm-hmm. um, You know you know all the guys And, and we think you know we, we just see something here mm-hmm. um, And I obviously You know I was like You know I really want to be doing music Because at the time That's when I was really starting to work on music So um, You know FaZe didn't have any music artists at the time So it just kind of like you know, really, really pushed into them. Like, you know, let's really do this. So, you know, everyone went all in and we did it. Damn. Okay. Yeah. And, um, well, I guess that's about it then. We, and your favorite song is the one coming up. I haven't heard it yet. Um, I can play it for you after this. this. Okay, cool. Okay, so nice, yeah. man. Hey, um, thank you guys so much for watching the podcast, man. K-Sound, thank you so much for joining Appreciate us. Appreciate you. Any final me, words? Any final words? John, I did write this. John is the GOAT. Appreciate that, man. You know, hey, I appreciate those raids you guys always do. Of you course, know, man. Because I got, you know, it's mad love for real. Um, any final words? What's a good, what's a good closing, like, you know, like I always like to give advice when I always, like, leave anything. Okay, inspires. Um, how am I feeling today? I would say, um, you know, life is very much... Life is very much, like, can't really plan it. And I always try to tell people, you know, like, for those who have aspirations and dreams, don't force something that isn't there. And for those who panic when you're, like, 17, 18 years old, you don't know what to do with your life, um, just let it happen naturally and let it, and let everything organically happen. Because mm-hmm. the people who are always panicking and always thinking you have to do something, it's good to have that drive and work ethic. You need to have it. But... Um, I feel like you just also got to let things happen and they happen for a reason. There's been so many times in my life where um, there was things I was dying for 
that didn't happen. I promise you if those things happened, I would not be where I am. Mm -hmm. So I always say, bro, um, everything happens for a reason and, you know, have those aspirations, have those goals, but, um, you know, put in the time, put in the work, but don't be, you know, just remember everything happens for a reason. So don't be so hard on yourself if something doesn't happen that you want at the time. It wasn't meant to be. So I would say that's, you know, my, my closing. That's good if advice, that made man. sense. It does. No, no, make it sense. does. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Lo, you have any closing statements? No, nah, man. Thank you for coming out. Uh, great to meet you. Great Shout to meet you out too, to man. y'all. Always supporting us as always. Um, and John? Man, just... This is lit, man. This is lit, man. It's good to get you on the podcast, too. No, I'm this happy. This is the phase game. He's been nothing but real to me. Like, nah, he's you know a good fucking guy, man. I appreciate that. Thank guy. you. Yeah. This yeah. happened yeah. because Agent raided me, and I was like, yo, I'm going to be in Atlanta on Friday. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, in the group chat, and I was, going, I was like, yeah, let's do it. So I'm live. I'm down. <clears throat> let me know what time. Yeah. No, nah, I appreciate y'all having me, bro. Of course, Y'all, man. y'all are so, great so. people, bro. Hey, good luck on the shoot today. Chat, I mean, I guess, Nody gang, 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 gang. Appreciate y'all for watching. As always, man, if you haven't already, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, man. We also got memberships, man. Click that join button where we have excerpts and parts of this podcast that otherwise can't go on YouTube. We just drop it down there. So there's some extra content over there if you're interested. Otherwise, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.